This is Snake. Can you hear me? Good. The mission is simple. Put your geek pants on and infiltrate Foxhound. If you need backup, contact Ken and Chris on their codec frequency. Ready? Snake out. still looking at this screen and not at this screen oh yeah i was just staring at this screen because it looks like uh jude law is staring at you <laughs> yeah it it's does kind of kinda look funny. like that it's kind of funny <laughs> i also i also thought like I, instead of like looking here i'm going to try to just like look more at you so it's right more conversation good i'm glad i got this disgusting growth on the side of my face for but you to stare if at. you're looking this way yeah they can't see it they so they would never it. have known they can't even know that and I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna mention it, and then I'm like, he knows it's there. Oh, I know. It's gross. Yeah. It's gross. I said Adrian this morning, like, can you cover cover this with something? And so she <laughs> did it. She did it, and I looked in the mirror, and it was like straight up a dot of makeup in the middle what? of my face. <laughs> what's uh what's that Mitch Hedberg? I joke? was like, no. Uh he's like, uh, I get cold sores and I like to put Caramex on the cold sores. it doesn't do anything to help the cold sores, it just makes it really noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> just all glistening. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty much what it is. Like the closest that I do is depending on how bad they are, I've got like I used to get these little uh polysporin <clears throat> covers, right? Yeah. So it was a medicated pad, you put it on, yeah, right? Yeah. But it yeah. looks like a bandage on your face, right? Not really a big deal per se, mm -hmm. but it's still just you know, people are just gonna go, oh yeah, I credit. Oh, yeah, what's going on there? Yeah. He's got a bandage on his lip. Got a cold sore. He pierces his lip, but he can't. Yeah, yeah, he can't show it off at work. With his lip, One of the two, but you know, uh, <laughs> so. But uh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do anything for it, but it makes it really noticeable. <laughs> and that's the best, like Mitch Hedberg, I can do. I can't do an impression of Mitch Hedberg. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. Uh, what's another one? It's like uh, I went to the doctor today, and that guy tried to bite my neck. Do not go to Doctor Acula. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Acula. <laughs> it's so bad but hilarious. So That's like a dad joke, but not. It's, they're all just Dr. Acula. All jokes like that. Or it's like uh <laughs> I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey Geek Pancers, welcome back to another camcast where we talk about a whole bunch of things. We got a whole bunch of stuff today. And in this particular case, we were ranting about uh, editorial, Spider-Man's editorial, where they, they're they never going to have him married in the comic books again because it's hard to relate mm -hmm, to a guy mm -hmm. who's got powers that he received from a radioactive spider yeah. uh, who's also married. That's yeah. too much. Flies through the sky of New York City, shoots webs out of his wrist, but yeah. being married. <laughs> that's where we draw the line. Oh, oh, oh. You can't have him married. Instead of using comic books as an allegory for the trials and tribulations mm -hmm. that everyone could go through, and that's how you would relate to the character, how they handle the trial. Nope. Can't be married. Nope. Nope, nope. But we're also going to talk about Sky Captain and the world of tomorrow. Yeah, a very... Um, underrated film underrated that, gem it everyone needs to see it actually this is the this is more of a diamond it. in the rough it really is i because, mean it's like oh. sin city and the mcu and all those movies would not exist without this pushing the boundaries first sin city in particular because that was a year after yeah sin city uh 300 these are all mm -hmm. things that happen because of sky captain yep. whether they want to admit it or not they won't admit it well, no, because then they'd have to justify where the budget <laughs> for Sky Captain came from, which we will talk about because it's a very interestingly what the fuck kind of story. I wonder where the what the budget for Sin City was. 
the real budget or the fake I mean, that, budget? Yeah, budget yeah. They, decided they had a huge cast. Too. I can't remember what the budget for that one was, but Sin it's City, probably up there. I think Sin, well, Sin City killed it. Whatever their budget was, they fucking smashed it. They killed it. Sin City 2, however, no. 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 I actually and, still and have yet good. to see it. I still have yet to watch it. it. it was, you're and not I missing much. Also, I haven't watched 301 or whatever the sequel was called. <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> they should have called it 301. <laughs> it's a missed or, opportunity. Or 299. Because <laughs> one, didn't, right, that's one right. didn't come back. <laughs> one didn't come back. That's right. Leonidas is no longer among he, us. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. He's 299. He's dead. He dead. He in the court. He's yeah. dead. There's some stink shit over there. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of cool shit to talk about today. But yeah. a lot of, a lot Sky of, Captain. A lot of cool that's the highlight of the episode. Which I like. Oh man, I can't wait! I can't wait. This was one of those camcasts where, like, we didn't realize that we've been working towards this camcast yeah. until we were like, "We gotta watch that." Fucking well, thing. like originally, I was thinking, like, "Well, maybe we should just wait one more year and do it for the twentieth anniversary." But no, I didn't want to wait. Me neither. When you were like, "We gotta do Skycap," I was like, "Fuck! Why didn't we do it yet?" I was, I can't. This, this was one of the rare care occasions where I was pushing. Like, I'm like, "Yeah, let's do this one." Let's just do this one. Hey, what about you? Didn't have to push too one? hard. You didn't have to push too hard. I was no, like, no, no. Yeah, we're in. No, it was. And unfortunately, it was just scheduling that fucked us for the last little yeah. while. Yeah. Or sorry, fudged us for some people. Yeah. Real life. Real life. Yeah. Life's good. life. Uh, finds <sighs> a way to fudge up some fucking shit. <laughs> anyway. Life finds a way. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anyway, so I'm not uh, sure. We, we got we got some stuff to touch on, obviously, before we get the sky captain. I've got some rants and some rants, some ravings. Some, some I guess rings. we'll kick it right off with uh, the wrestling roundup. Well, the wrestling roundup is basically because we're on the cusp of WrestleMania. Yes. We're now officially we're one, on the edge. One week, just over a week away, because mm -hmm. it's not this weekend; it's the next weekend. Right. Uh, I should probably tell my wife I'm busy that weekend. Yeah, both nights. Say, hey, it's both nights, bitch. All I mean, night. Not bitch. She's not a bitch at all, no. actually. No. Uh, not even in the way that uh, thugs refer to their ladies as bitches. Not even in that way. <laughs> yeah, because we're we're gangsta. We're the OGs. We are, we are the old OGs, old original gangsters of comic books, I guess yeah. you could say, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Old, old guys. In my day, I remember when comic books cost a dollar. <laughs> I actually thought about that a few days ago. Yeah. I was like, man, I, well, I was splitting those toys away, actually. I looked at Dark Hawk, I was like, think about that. First issue was a buck ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or, uh, oh, good or days. do you remember when toys were like five bucks? Yeah. And now the cheapest is like thirty four ninety nine. Without shipping. <laughs> Without shipping. Yeah, because you have to get everything shipped now. That's uh, Nightwing. Nightwing was uh, twenty nine ninety nine, mm -hmm. and and then it was like thirty bucks in tax and shipping. Which okay, that's fine. not that bad. That's not too that's bad. Not too I'm bad. on the waiting list for the uh, the Mafex. You are. Right? Yeah, sideshow is keeping me posted. <clears throat> I've been on the wait list for Ghostface for about a year now. Ghostface. Yeah, I want a Ghostface. Oh, Ghostface from the Myers. from the Scream franchise. The Scream franchise. The Screams movies. Yes. Yeah. The Screamers. Yeah, was, I like I said, uh, I want to watch the you new gave, ones. You gave up on what after three? You said. Yeah, third one was the last one that I watched, and I don't really. Well, have I mean, a, the fourth never <clears throat> came out for almost ten years after the third, so. I, and I think that's why. And then I I never watched the TV show, so I didn't bother watching the fifth one. Well, you don't have to watch the show. Oh no! The show doesn't tie into the movies at all. Oh okay. Yeah, no the fifth the fifth is excellent, and then the sixth, holy crap, that was so good. Yeah, I want to watch it again. Yeah, yeah, I Plus, do. I do. I, I think part of it too is like uh, like when you watch Saw, for instance, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, they fuck that ending for Saw. Oh my god! And then you watch Saw two, and you're like. Holy fuck! That ending for Saw two. Then you watch Saw three, and you're like, okay, so which one is the one that's working? With, yeah. And who's the 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 last minute switcheroo and all this stuff? And eventually, you're just like, you start to get I no longer give a fuck. <laughs> Number one, incredible. That's the only one in my collection. Saw one was absolutely incredible. It's still incredible. Saw that, two that ending. That's probably the craziest ending ever. Oh my god! Craziest ending. He ever. gets up. Well, he just sits up. You're like. <laughs> What the shit? <laughs> oh man! Blown away! I was blown so blown away. away. I screamed. I, I yeah no, I was very loud about it. 
I remember watching that with you too. And you had watched it before. And yeah. Then, so when I watched it. So it was, when we watched it, it was just me watching your reaction. And I was just yeah. like, oh, shit. Here, it's in there the whole here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know? But, uh, and Scream, Scream was amazing. I actually really, really loved the first three Screams. I thought they were so, all, oh, so I good. enjoy even every, though, every single one of them. Even though those ones, like, even by the third one, you're just like, okay, but, like, how does this tie in with Sydney And mm -hmm, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, is it a long-lost brother? Oh, wait, yep. that's the third one. <laughs> that's kind of the nice thing, too. Like, the fifth is more of a passing of the torch, and Sydney's not even in the sixth. Well, I mean. Which is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta say goodbye eventually. Well, it's more or less. They weren't going to pair what she wanted to come back. Well, which, she's like, I deserve more, and I agree. I mean, she's the star of the franchise, yeah. but yeah, it's it's fifty fifty. It's her and it's Ghostface, and Ghostface is back. I mean, every Halloween never had Lori, <clears throat> right? That's right, that's right, and not every Halloween had Michael. That's true too. Most of them did. Most of them did. That'd be weird if a screen came out with no Ghostface, <laughs> <laughs> and they did like an anthology. Yeah. They called it Seasons of the Warlock. Yeah. I see where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a lame was, one. That was a, that was, that was a deep was cut bad. lame Warlock joke. is a good switch on Witch, but Seasons, I mean, you could have figured something else out for that. I could have, but I you didn't. Could've. There's no way I was going Month to. Month of the Warlock. Anyway, Wrestling Roundup. Yeah. Wrestling Roundup. So going to tune in. <laughs> so, so there's a couple of interesting things that have come. Yeah. Now, for a long time, watchers and listeners, they know that Kenneth and I are absolutely in love with the Bloodline storyline. Mm-hmm. Okay, because it's the best storyline in like 20 fucking years. It's so good. Easily. It's so good. And it just gets better. When I think it can't get better, it gets better. That's right. So I actually think this might be better than Austin versus McMahon. Oh, because I, yeah. Austin versus McMahon was good and amazing and great until WrestleMania 18, where he joined up with McMahon. Yes. And then continued to join with McMahon and they did the switch where now right, Austin was, right, right. was wanting hugs all the time. Yeah. And then he was doing that comedy stuff. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely funny mm -hmm. stuff with Kurt Angle and they were wearing different hats and stuff. So funny. I forgot about and, that. And he's playing his guitar and they were singing <laughs> songs and Kurt had the little uh, the little banjo thing. Ukulele. Yeah, that's what he had. That's what it was. And it was all funny stuff. But if you were a, a lifelong fan of Austin like we were at the time, yep. to see that character switch, you're like, what the fuck so totally steamrolled him in, the, in that okay so far this has done nothing but get better and better and better and like i think the last time we talked about it it's so incredible they did such a good job of saying cody rhodes is the guy mm -hmm. sammy Zayn isn't the guy anymore but his story is going to continue on with kevin owens and they're going to take the bloodlines tag titles yes and no one went Fuck this shit. This is horse shit. Yeah. Let's just uh, take over Raw like they did with Daniel Bryan. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason was they had Cody Rhodes come out and say, Sammy, you're amazing. Yeah. You're awesome. I want to wrestle you at WrestleMania. I don't, Honestly, I want to wrestle you. I want to wrestle Reigns. Either one of you. I want to. So no one came out and said, the reason why Sammy Zayn is not in the main event is because he's a B-plus player at mm -hmm. best. Mm -hmm. They didn't do that angle. They propped him up and they kept saying hey fuck he could do it yep that in the match itself with roman reigns for the most part was fucking awesome oh that was a great match couple of things here and there but oh man it was yeah, so for good the most part so it was the finish that they dragged out yeah that's the part where you're like okay guys you know where it's going but so that storyline top of the list so uh the only thing now is there's still that sort subtle hint that maybe reigns will retain the title i don't think he is i don't think so either even though the they're more, saying like the more promos i see i i just like even like well he, the even promos, this week oh, even this week like roman had nothing to say he walked the promos that cody is doing in the last two weeks yeah he has to win now oh yeah he can't lose and like and i don't mean like he has to win at wrestlemania backlash no he has to win at wrestlemania, WrestleMania. he has to take both belts stage. off him and the then stage. They have to split those titles up. Apparently, they're supposed to be doing it at SummerSlam, but that's too long. Don't fucking try no, it no. Out. Just Backlash. Split them up. Yeah. Backlash. Split them up. Me. And then, of course, we've got so there's that one. And then, of course, we've got uh, Kevin Owens and uh, Sami Zayn finally getting back together. Mm -hmm. The big, huge, the hug her around the world. Did you hear the hug? 
hug each other's oh. chest. Hug it and out. Then they hug, hug it out. And the crowd and erupted. And they fucking lost it. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome. I, I was sitting there going, like, I can't believe they're chanting, hug it out. Yeah. Hug it out. I was like, this is Just great. wait till May when KO turns on Sammy again. Or Sammy turns on or, KO. Or the other way Although around. Although, it is more KO's. Looking at history. <laughs> that's more KO's bread and butter. But, anyway, so so that is splintered off perfectly. Although, mm-hmm. apparently, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte is going to main event night one. Which I disagree with. Ugh. It should be KO and Sammy Zayn. Absolutely. And the bloodline. Or the you so sorry. Both main events should be all bloodline. I, I know you want to have the women in there doing one one headline, but I and I like I get it too. Like I, I, I totally I do. Also, but if you're gonna do it, maybe book the match better. You telling me this is gonna be what year was it? It was um yeah, Rock and Hogan was yeah. followed by Triple H and, and Jericho. Yeah, exactly. This is gonna be that all over again. And and, and you're gonna, Jericho, you're gonna, you're gonna have Sammy and Kevin win, and then follow it with Rhea and Charlotte. Yeah, and bury that match. And Jericho has said, like he said countless times, like even before that match, he was yeah. like, "Why are we on last?" Yeah. Because Triple H was like, "We gotta go on last." Yeah, it was all Triple H. And I guarantee you, now Triple H would probably be like, yeah, "That was that, that was, was a dumb, dumb move. that was a dumb decision. That was an arrogant ego prick move on my part. Yeah. <laughs> it should have should have read the room." <laughs> I mean, no one would have been able to tell you that the double turn would have happened. Yeah. And that Toronto would have been like, fucking right, Hogan. No one would have been able to tell you that. But at the same time, they should have sat there and said, that should be the last match, though. Yeah. At the very least. Icon versus Icon. I mean, that alone yeah. says main event. But anyway. Okay. So now, now that I mentioned, so we've got two parts, WrestleMania yep. covered. And so far, I mean, the storyline's amazing. Storylines. Everyone's incredible. firing all cylinders. Even Sola Sokoa. Like, find him oh, yeah. something to do. That was great, too. Find him something to do for WrestleMania. Yeah. And something. I don't care at this point. And I'm not talking like a multi man match. Just throw him in something where he's killing somebody. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of say, hey, I'm still I'm still killing it for the bloodline, right? Yeah. He, he could win. He could be the only guy that wins. You know what? I could kind of see. Have him eat up Braun Strowman just because I'm not a fan of Braun Strowman. <laughs> I could kind of see Solo trying to do something with Cody during their match. Yeah. Screwing it for Roman. And then Cody gets off. Cody gets the win. And then now, uh, yeah. Roman is pissed at Solo. Yeah. Usos, I like that. Usos come out to back up their brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it just <clears throat> ends with Roman in a shattered mess. Well, because, I mean, the Usos have always kind of. There's always been that part where they're with Ro- uh, Roman, and but they're also all shit scared of Roman. Yeah. So yeah. they're they're by there by blood, but also by fear. Yeah. And eventually they're you know, oh, you're just a, you're just a dude. <laughs> you're nothing. You're a the two of us could beat you. Yeah. And Jay almost did. Solo's our younger brother, in case you forgot. <laughs> so the I, three I mean, of us could kill. Him. I think that Cody's uh, Cody did a little foreshadowing there, right? Also, and getting back to Cody, like I was kind of. I try to get away from bloodline certainly because we raved about it so long, but yeah. Cody is oh like the baby face. Oh man. Like Sammy I was, was never... that top baby yeah, face. Yeah. Yeah. But Cody came in and eked him out, just kind of nudged him off to the side. Yeah. And like his promos aren't like everyone else's promos, which is perfect. His look, yeah, sure he wears a suit and tie. But it's not like everyone else's suit and tie, yeah. you know? Uh, even his ring work, you know? I mean, his uh, two-step corner cutter, yeah. Cody Cutter, is looking better and better every time he nails it. Yeah. Plus, he's wrestling every second Raw mm-hmm. or every second SmackDown. So, he's going to be on more often. Fucking ride him. Ride him until people start going, eh. He's He's... 100% the champ after WrestleMania. He's also, I know I've said that the last two. I know. But he's also, he's the guy that you can actually put the, like, have the company built around. Yes. So he's actually the perfect guy to take over for Roman mm-hmm. for all the great work that Roman's done the last couple of years. Uh, so, yeah. I Oh, man, just do it. Just and do you it, also it said Paul would be the in advocate again. Kind of hinted that Paul may end up with Cody at one. Or Brock. Back with Brock, I guess, but kind of. I was like, I mean, yeah, you could, but the way I see it is, uh, 
I, if they're going to do that, it's not going to be for a while because there's already reports that uh, when Reigns loses the belt, he's gone for a long time. Yeah, he's taking a break to like SummerSlam. And that's, yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. So they're saying estimated SummerSlam is when he comes back, which is perfect, which should also be the amount of time, that, if not longer, that you mm-hmm. keep Paul Heyman off too. Yep. Yeah, that's a perfect amount of time. Cody can have a nice run. <clears throat> Now, I, I just, just assuming Roman comes back and goes after Cody and or whoever the champion is. Yeah, we don't know. We because he, he could come back as a babyface. He could because he'll get a babyface pop when he comes back. Oh yeah, people will we'll all pumped. be like, "Oh my god, you're back!" We'll be pumped unless he comes out with like <laughs> the classic vest and the old school <laughs> and old school music. Roman Shield music. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Can you imagine? Ooh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's when you know 100% Vince is back. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's 100%. 100%. Vince. Uh, so, but okay, so now we mentioned Charlotte and uh, uh, Ripley. Mm-hmm. Match I'm super pumped for. It's going to be a great match. Match itself is going to be great. Uh, but the build to this has been really weird. Yeah. It's been really weird. Like, I know because part of the problem is that they were trying to get uh, Charlotte over as a baby face. Mm-hmm. And yet, still have her do heel moves, like when she's in the figure eight with Shotzi and doesn't let go when it when she taps. Yeah, you're like that's a fucking heel move. Like I know you're trying to like get into Rhea's head. Yeah, but baby faces don't do that. I love Charlotte. And I love Rhea, but I've seen them at WrestleMania. Right. I honestly wish Oscar and Bianca <laughs> were main eventing, if anything. And also that gets back to that. So like, while I'm not necessarily happy with the build for uh, Charlotte and Rhea, it's still way better than the build for Oscar and Belair. It's non-existent almost. Oh, it's been terrible. I know it's going to be a good match. (laughs) That's, that's the other part. It's going to be a good match. The build sucks, but now, now I'm like, okay, so I'm like, it's, it almost is a lot that Rhea Ripley wins this. She almost has to. Mm. Now I'm not so sure Oscar's going to win it, even though she should, in my opinion. Oh yeah. She should. But if, she wins it. I think that they should just cut her loose and just go like really in the deep end with this new murder clown version of this character. Yeah. Don't necessarily just have her continue to dribble the the, the mist or whatever the you want to call it. The, yeah, the, ooze. the secret of the ooze. That's right. Uh, have her like have her just kick the hell out of people for no reason. Yeah. Just oh, you looked at me wrong. Yeah. You know, and yeah. have her like cackling or. Being murder clownish or whatever the you know, bring more of that Ken uh, was it Kenta? No, I wasn't Kenta. Kana, bring more of the Kana elements into this, right? Tweak it, update it, so it's not an early yeah. tread. But like, she looks in some cases that makeup is horrifying, oh, yeah. and it should be. So play that up, and maybe even like have Liv Morgan trying to like be trying to get her to mentor her because. She's kind of trying a weird murder clown esque thing as well. So, and Chucky aspects. She's still running yeah. those weird Chucky tights, yeah, giggling and stuff. And so I don't know. I don't know. But like, I do think both titles switch because I mean, go all in on both of them. Yeah. At least at the very least, you can go in, and if people still uh, cheer, like if so, if suddenly they don't care about Rhea, then okay, take the belt off her, and we, you did it. Mm-hmm. And same with Oscar. If they don't care as much, but push them. Get behind them and push them. Don't yeah. half-ass yeah. where you, like, after two weeks, you go, oh, I don't really care anymore. Push them as hard as you can. Make them viable threats. Then it'll be great. And Charlotte, I think, will take a break, which, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. She's earned it. She's an attraction now. Yeah. And then maybe in the time, if you really want to bring her back as a baby face, work on it while she's off. You know, give her baby face promos. Yeah. Have her tweak her wrestling so she wrestles a bit more underneath. Because yeah. the baby face has to eat shit a little bit more than the heel. Mm-hmm. You know, but okay, fine. But those are, so far, we're in agreement. Cody wins. The Usos lose. Both Bianca and, and Charlotte lose. Right? Why? Well, hard to say. I, I could see one of the women holding it. Okay, I'm not going to switch all titles. In one paper. Why not? I, the ultimate I, Vince reset. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how that will play out. But I, I do. So I think, if anything, then it might be Belair retains. I can see Belair retaining. And, and Lo- maybe losing it a backlash. Yeah. If only to drag out the build, yeah. and then like, yes, yeah, so, okay, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll I mean, agree. With okay. That. Well, I guess for champions, like Gunther's going to retain. 
Is he? I think so. I do. I think so. Uh, apparently, did you hear the reports? Were they the only reason why he didn't get Brock this year was because they didn't think he was ready? They were like, "You need one more year." Really? What else does he need to show? Uh, you know what? I would have. I agree, actually, and I love. Almost Gunther. has more experience than uh, Gunther. Yeah, but that's more of an attraction thing, right? I guess so. Especially the last two weeks of them building it up. Like, yeah, yeah. okay, the over the rope thing was a, a botch, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay, fine. It's like it's one of those where it's like you can call it a botch, but let's see how well you perform. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I mean, Brock couldn't see where he was going. There was a huge hand on the But his Gunther, head. see, the thing with the Gunther, it, it's in the last two months, believe it or not, in the last two months, even though I'm a huge fan, he's cooled off. Yeah, that's true. You know, well, part of the problem was that they had to drag out the feud with. Sheamus and McIntyre, so they had to have him tag. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then of course, so you know, Imperium and Gunther's in the background, but it wasn't a focal point. The focal point was getting those two to the triple threat match for which right. I think is going to be a fucking crazy. That's going to be a great match. That's going to be absolutely That's crazy. Be a great match. I'm hoping, honestly, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping. I love Gunther. I think the what they're going to do is they're going to take the belt off him by having McIntyre pin Sheamus mm. and possibly turn Shame or McIntyre heel mm. to do it. And then yeah. you can still have the feuds between the other two guys because obviously, well now Gunther, I didn't lose. I yeah. was never even pinned, yeah. but I lost the title. That's part of the rules. And you can even tease a baby face turn for him where you can go, I okay, fine, you know. Part of the rules, I signed up for this, whatever. I want that title back. I, I deserve a rematch, and I want to beat you for it, blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. I can see that, and I kind of, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, even though, I, like I said, actually, I love all three. I love all three. I'd be happy whoever won, but I think... I think it's a step back for Drew if he, if he wins the IC title. Uh, not right now. He needs reigniting. But if Cody takes those titles and they split the titles up, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for him all of a sudden. Because now all of a sudden we're in a world where one guy doesn't hold the title for two years. Says, well, yeah, but who says that McIntyre is immediately? Oh, he won't be immediately. No, but even. But there's going to need to be competition. Right. Yeah, but in one of the ways to build him up, in my opinion, is to turn him heel, mm -hmm. put the icy belt on him. I'm not saying he has an eight month run with that icy belt. Yeah. He could even just hold it for three friggin' weeks, but. Give him a taste of gold again mm -hmm. and make him go, yeah, that's right. Why am I fighting for this one when I should be fighting for that one? Yeah. Then we've got a little bit more of a, a tweak for him. I, I All I'm saying is just reignite him. Mm -hmm. You know, Seamus, Seamus is Seamus. Seamus is at that untouchable spot now. Seamus could do whatever he wants. You know, he got lucky that he got over with those matches with Gunther. Yeah. Because they were... Nobody cared about the brutes, right? Mm -hmm. Now we don't even see them. <laughs> yeah, who are they? <laughs> yeah, they're gone now. They're gone. But okay, fine. Like they need to be taken off TV, whatever. But uh, anyway, so you're saying Gunther retains. I'm saying uh, McIntyre wins. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna be happy either way, honestly. I if if Gunther doesn't retain, I say Sheamus wins. Okay, all I, right. I fair. think they would go the other way around. Okay. Um. Uh, next the theory beating Cena seems kind of obvious, right? And they're not going to give Cena the U.S. title, are they? Would they do that? Oof. I well, I think it's almost one of those where, like, even with the way that they've been building it, mm -hmm. uh, and I like the way that they've been building theory now, even like without the prior McMahon stuff. Yeah. Uh, plus, he just honestly he looks more of a badass with that facial hair as it is. Yeah. Yeah, you know? doesn't look like a whiny little bitch anymore. Yeah, he still is. He, he still just is. doesn't look like it. doesn't look like it. Yeah, that. that's the distinction. He's got know? a hard exterior and a mushy interior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like everybody. Like, like yeah, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I, you know what? Like, it seems so much like a lock that he'll win that it's almost more interesting to have Cena beat him, mm -hmm. take the title, and just be like, I told you you weren't ready. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and then... I don't know, maybe vacate the title just because he can't do it justice by constantly he because he's not gonna be able to unless he can unless he can give the time for like at least a month to, until backlash. Which is possible. Yeah. You know, or 
or you throw someone else at them, right? You do that. Because, like, I mean, uh, originally the reports were that Logan Paul was supposed to wrestle John Cena at WrestleMania, mm -hmm. which I'm glad they didn't do. Oh, me too. You know, not that I... Paul the match, Rollins is going to be awesome. Oh, and we'll get to that. Yeah. Not that the match wouldn't have been good by any means, but it's just a weird build for WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. So now, apparently, the talk is possibly Logan Paul and John Cena at SummerSlam. Okay. So, you could do something with that. But if you're, like... I do like your idea, like, if they can get John Cena for, like, at least another month. Like, really, like, two, maybe three more appearances. I don't think he's shooting anything right now. That's the thing. Like, yeah. Rock's always busy. I can understand him not coming. Well, yeah, because he's got to do Black Cena, Adam, Cena takes his little breaks in between. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, so, like, I mean, if they can get him for a few more, mm -hmm. but even, or, but it is a lot. It really only has to do, like, maybe a promo and an appearance between the two pay-per-views. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, I mean, but then again, we're talking like another title switch, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I guess the only way, the, the only way they're really going to do, in my opinion, is uh, Austin either cheats to win mm -hmm. or does the same thing that they've been doing on these big matches where he wins because somebody does something. Right. And then he just like falls on the guy or whatever, right? Yeah. Um, which... I think in this case, he should get a definitive win, but again, he's a heel, and it doesn't really matter to his character because he doesn't give a shit. He yeah. won. He could say he beat Cena. So, But yeah, I think the easy answer is he wins and retains the title. I I, I think so. Yeah. And just because of Cena. I can't see him putting in yeah. the time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, We've got three viewers. Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey, hey. hey, hey. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, Omos and uh, and Brock. Brock. That'll be a quick little. It's like we talked about it. It's going to be just finisher. Attempts. What's what's Lashley doing now? As all now all all I've been hearing is that Bray is sick. Yes, there are rumors that he has walked out, and that uh, but apparently Lashley is and and Wyatt are, are still locked in for WrestleMania. Still locked in, right? Still locked okay. in for WrestleMania. Okay. It's just there's an undisclosed, uh, I don't want to say illness, but he's just under the weather. and It's probably mental stuff. It could be. It could yeah. be anything. It could be uh, anything. Because, I it mean. It could just be the fact that L.A. Knight, yeah, managed to get through yeah! that feud without <laughs> being permanently damaged. Yeah. Like, it took, what, Daniel Bryan left the company. <laughs> no. Yeah. He took, what, a couple of months. Hello, to, Megan. He took a couple of months, and hey, Megan, Seth Rollins took almost a year, yeah, to uh, to rehab himself. Braun Braun left the company, yeah, he got let go, but L.A. Knight, yeah, yep, fuck man, he's over too. Oh, I I, I love he him. is so over. I love him. He he wins never, and he's so over. Wow, he's great. He's wrestler. awesome. He's, he's a great, a great, great He's a great player. wrestler too. He's also yeah, really I good. Mean, wrestler. He's great in the ring. Yeah. One of my favorite parts though was right after that match when they were just like, "Hey, so that black guy." And she's like, "Look, I lost. That's all we're gonna talk about. That on to bigger and better things." I was like, "Why don't more people do stuff mm -hmm. like that? Just say, hey, look, it's over. Get over it.' Yeah, I am. I'm over it. Deal with it. And then uh, you know." But anyway, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Bray Wyatt. Man, but I'll tell you this. Quick, quick, tell you this. A quick little segue for a second. Oh yeah, here. yeah. I got WWE 2K23. Yeah. I'm rocking the my GM mode. LA Knight. He's holding all the gold. Oh my! I got him as the world champ, the IC champ, and a tag champ. Holy shit! LA Knight. Who's his tag champion? Uh, he's uh, well, he's face. He's face. So he's with Edge. Okay, I'm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. nice. That's a nice yeah. tag team. That's a nice tag team. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I, love <laughs> I love it. It's so good. You can't have WrestleMania in LA without LA Night. Yeah. And then <laughs> the call and response. There, he is crazy oh, yeah. over. Yeah. Because I Everyone's love just it. going. Yeah. He's like, Shut up. I'm talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is this is the next rock, guys. It is, he, and he plays forty four. You got to push it quick. Yeah, uh, you know what? No. No? No. He's in great shape for his age. Though. That's exactly why I'm saying no. He's got four years on us. Let this percolate a little bit He looks longer. four years younger than us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Let this percolate a little bit longer, but immediately put 
like the U.S. title on him soon, or the oh, IC yeah. belt, something. Something. He needs something. Uh, but anyway, so Omos and Lesnar, honestly, uh, Lesnar. I'm gonna just say Lesnar beats him. That's why I brought up Lashley because I thought like if Lashley isn't busy with Wyatt, he could get involved in that match. Uh, if I'm Lashley, I'd stay away from it because who gives a shit? Well, then you got Brock and Lashley at Backlash for the final time. Uh, yeah, I mean there there is that. Uh, but I mean even. Even this whole Wyatt feud with Lashley, even before he was taken off TV for the for the sickness or whatever, the, whatever he's dealing with, whatever yep. it is. Yep. And also, just for the record, I hope you get better soon. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we know you're watching. He's got to just be, in he's case. Got to be one of just, the three. Well, you know, Bray Wyatt has got to be one of the to three. To be fair, what's he doing? He's not at wrestling. To be fair, he could be anywhere. Right. He could be behind us. Doors anywhere, yeah. there's a door he could walk through it. No, you couldn't be behind us because Nick Cage holds that spot. That's right. And I, Michelle brought it up, and I was yeah. like, Yeah, we haven't conjured Nick Cage. We haven't conjured ever. Nick Cage in, in a years. long time. So I'm glad you mentioned Nick long Cage, time. especially because apparently uh, Renfield oh, yeah. is a direct sequel to <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula. Really? <laughs> even, even, <laughs> even though Renfield died in that movie. Right. But whatever. It I'm doesn't, okay it with doesn't it. need to make sense. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Anyway, anytime you want to stop by, Nick. Come on by, by, Nick Cage. Um, but okay, so I'm saying Brock Lesnar, even though I part of me thinks maybe Omos, but Brock Lesnar's been eating it lately. He's been eating. It. Well, that's the kind of thing. Like both are in a situation where they they neither one needs any more losses. And like, but I actually think, believe it or not, I think Omos losing to Lesnar is the better option. Because Lesnar or Almas is still young, he's still green, mm -hmm. and he'll get the opportunity to work with a guy like Brock and hopefully learn from that. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're like uh, kind of similar to when Brock worked with Big Show. Exactly. You know. Yep. And Brock clearly learned from working with a huge guy in mm -hmm. comparison to him. Like it's not just the height; it's the dimensions. Yeah. And it's the weight. You know, like we all we always kind of take for granted how strong Lesnar is because the boy is voted strong. But at the same time, you know, for him to work with a huge veteran like Big Show, because even at the time that he was feuding with Big Show, mm -hmm. yeah, that's like 20 years ago. I would have said he's a veteran, period. Big Show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. At that point? Oh. Oh, easily. Because he had, he had his... Uh, easily. What, he, he, what, 97 he started in WCW? Uh, 96, I think. 96. I'm pretty sure I've been uh, wrestling Biles. That's uh, yeah the only wrestling uh, YouTube show I watch, and mm. it's awesome. I love it. You should watch it. Should I watch it? Wrestling Bios. Wrestling Bios is the YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, specifically, you watch Reliving the War. I mentioned Reliving the War, mm. where he literally rewatched Nitro and uh, Raw back to back, just to and chronicles everything. I'm up to date now, but he also does actual biographies on wrestlers like Bret Hart. Mm -hmm. uh, he talks about Chris Benoit's wrestling in his final year of life, things like that, but he doesn't really touch upon. It's all the shit. It's really yeah. good. It's like, plus, it's good. he's hilarious. It's good. He's a very funny guy. Uh, but do you, do you hear what almost, almost fans are calling themselves? No. Almost sapiens. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. You know what? Almost sapiens. I, I hope, like, I think while I'm saying, yeah, almost loses, I, I want him to get better. Like, Me too. I mean, visually, he, he's awesome. You've okay? got, you've got like a potential, like visually, yeah, from a standpoint. Visually. Just, like when the, they did that face-to-face, -face, almost in Lester, I was like, that looks like Hogan and Andre. Again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, he's a young guy. He's got that look, like, treat him like you did Mark Henry. Don't. Yeah. Make him like sexual chocolate, Mark Henry, or anything like that. Treat him. Don't hook him up with some eighty year old lady. Yeah, but look at it like <laughs> like a ten year, twenty year investment. Yeah, as opposed to you know a three year investment, and then go ah, cut cut him loose. Because yeah. really, uh, unless he gets in his head about things, he could be like Brock Lesnar or no Braun Strowman, in the sense that like Braun Strowman should never have left WWE, mm -hmm. but when he did get cut loose. He shouldn't have done control your narrative. He shouldn't yeah. have done anything like that because it tainted his brand. Oh yeah, 
You know. Oh yeah. I'm not saying he should have went to AEW. When he came back. I gave no shits about it. I'm not saying he should have went to AEW or anything like that. Uh, what I'm saying is like, he, he well, our, he shouldn't have also uh, signed on with companies that like clearly were just cash grabs and stuff like that. Because there was a couple of things. Not necessarily saying that he did that intentionally. It just it further helped damage his yeah. brand. Yeah. You know. Uh, but I I think he should have went to TNA. Just done a quick little run with TNA to just kind yeah, of say, made the most hey, look, man. Where, where did he go? Ring of Honor? Is that where he ended up for a bit? Actually, I can't recall. I don't think he – he might have maybe one or two nights, but nothing – Okay. Nothing major. It was a TNA. I, I want to say it was Ring of Honor. It, uh, the only reason why I'm thinking it might have been Ring of Honor was because Control Your Narrative sort of had a partnership with Ring of Honor. Okay. I think towards the end of Control Your Narrative's run. But, right. you know, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll give them credit for trying a, a, a different wrestling – company especially mm -hmm. during the pandemic which is crazy yeah well i mean well towards the end of the pandemic in, in their mind it was just a normal day uh, yeah, yeah 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 but <laughs> still uh yeah he, he really damaged himself pretty badly yeah. regardless of his thoughts on covid and things like that like regardless of that just the brand itself mm -hmm. like you said when he came back like i was like don't bring it back and then they brought him back and i was like okay all right then i'll begrudgingly admit that he is over mm -hmm. but He's not main event. No, and he never will be again. No. Never. No, I don't think He's so either. He's mid-card forever. Karrion no. Cross is probably going to be let go very soon. I get it. I'm, Apparently. I get no shits about him either. I, I, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and even he was a one, two that, like, he did control your narrative. But uh, I was really surprised he can go back to TNA for a stretch. Really surprised. Well, he can go back there now. But the, the worst part was is that he came back heavier. Than when he left, yeah, you know, and his whole thing was he was a big guy, but he could move like a littler guy. Well, now he's not moving as fast. The problem, though, is the presentation of the gimmick is actually really good. Him and Scarlet, mm -hmm. and that whole choreography where she's singing the lyrics, and then she down it comes out. And he's like, like that looks crazy cool. And every time I see it, I'm like, man, that is fucking cool because they shoot it from the perfect angle. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, now he's almost looking like a. I don't know what kind of appearance they're trying for now, but I think it's it's make or I I read that it's make or break for him. It's either yeah, you know, your this main your, event, your final chance, or you're done. So I think, but I think he might be cut very soon. In the next section of cuts, he'll probably be on that list. Yeah, Ron, I don't think so because his run with Ricochet is getting over quite nicely. And I mean, you could go a couple of different routes there: mm -hmm. tag titles, split them up, put Ricochet over, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and he's over, so it's not like like it's just because I don't like him doesn't mean everyone should hate him. Yeah. yeah, he's over, so keep him as long as it just the money justifies it, right? Right. right. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We are at. We covered the triple threat. We covered the two. Oh, uh, Seth and Logan. Seth and Logan is going to be like potential match of the night. Well, oh. It's gonna be crazy. Like it's gonna be nuts. Logan Paul, I don't like him. I hate him. <laughs> I don't know him enough to say I hate well, him. Holy but I hate shit! Him. Can he put on a match? I, and not even just put on a match. Like we talked about Roman and and, and Logan when they were in Saudi Arabia, and yeah. that one shot of him doing, and like that was like straight out of a comic book. Straight out of a comic and then, book. And then how's he follow it up? Straight out of a comic book again with Ricochet Royal yeah. Rumble. But then, uh, so like. You know what's funniest is that like so prior to Logan Paul, yeah, Bad Bunny was the one that we were all just like, "Are you kidding me?" Bad Bunny's the guy that makes like, like, like he looks like he trained, yeah, but he's not like a pro. You're just like, "Holy shit!" Like he put in the work. Like this is crazy. All these other wrestlers, like Orton was singing his praises. Triple H was saying, "Anytime he wants to come in, we'll bring him in because he put in the work. He uh, he respects the business. All this other shit." And then you bring in Logan Paul, and I was like, okay, all right, like, whatever. Then you watch him wrestle his only match, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. The things this guy is doing, and it's not just the fact that he can do the moves from a physical standpoint. It's the fact that he, like, thinks like a wrestler or whoever booked the match. Yeah. He listened and said, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll do this, and I'll do that, and I'll do this, or whatever. So, yeah, the match is going to be incredible. Uh, obviously, 
obviously, obviously, Seth Rollins wins. Yeah. But at the same time, Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins. He's fucking bulletproof, so he could eat the loss, no problem. He, I wouldn't be surprised if he loses. He almost might lose. He might lose. They might actually do a little feud, yeah. which wouldn't be too bad. Wrap it up in backlash. You know? Yeah, exactly. I would. <sighs> Keep it coming. Like, but you're right. That could easily be match of the night. Oh, that's gonna be a good that's match. gonna be one of those that's ones where it's almost like match. <laughs> like, oh shit, man. Yeah. Uh, Edge, Edge, and Finn Balor. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Edge wins it. Edge wins it. Edge wins it, and, and uh, pummels Finn. Yeah. It'll you, be a really even good though match. Finn's coming out the demon. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, well, that Edge is probably tonight. He called out the demon. Oh yeah, I didn't so watch all br- the Bring the demon to WrestleMania. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to bring him out. There. I think he will. Although that promo, actually, I stopped watching because that promo sucked. Yeah, that uh, was a shit promo. Although I thought it was interesting. Edge uh, recently said in the interview, he's just like, "Well, I mean, uh, I had to split away from the group because I couldn't turn like I was. I, they wouldn't boo me." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "No, they were booing you. Yeah, they were booing you." Because you did this really like gross, like long-winded, thesaurus-laden promo, it was boring. That's why they they booed you. It wasn't like a, <laughs> it wasn't like only a matter of time before they were gonna cheer you, yeah. and or it wasn't like they were like, oh, we really want to cheer you, bud. No, they were booing you. You were over as a heel. Mm-hmm. It just, I'm glad, I'm glad that you left, <laughs> because the Judgment Day is way cooler now. They they had trouble at first after Edge left though. It was a little rough. It was rough, rough, but they got it now. They they, they it. found their footing. Yeah, and then of course they brought in Hard Time Dom, my favorite wrestling uh, wrestler of all time right now. Yeah, the best of all time. The absolute best Easily. of all time. There's Easily. nobody better than Hard Time Dom. No, nope. although my theory is a hundred percent correct though, because lately he's been wrestling. And it's good. Yeah, he's getting way better. And it's exactly like I was saying. They were leaning into the fact that he's a shitty wrestler and he can't like finish a match on his own as a cover for while a while he's getting in better shape physically. Yeah. Because you can see he's covering up less and less because his arms are getting there. Mm. You know, and of course he's not wrestling like his dad. He's yeah. wrestling a different style. Yeah. But the fucking Eddie Guerrero look. Oh my god. That's happening, right? Dom and, and Ray's have been confirmed. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I actually uh so hold on. So Edge and Finn, real quick. Yeah, Edge wins. Yeah. Edge wins. Uh it'll be a great match. You if it's the demon, I'm in. Yep. I'm all in. I haven't seen the demon since uh Roman Reigns killed the demon. I wouldn't mind seeing the demon against Brood Edge. I would have oh. Oh. oh maybe that's how they do it. Maybe that's how they do it. Oh the demon comes out and oh. then we get brood edge. <laughs> Oh, that's they have a to match. They have that's to a match. They have to do it now. They have to. They, they got it. Um, what is it? It's Lita, Becky, yep. and Trish versus Damage Control. I don't even care about the match as much as I hate to say it because I love all six of the mm-hmm, women. Mm-hmm. The build is garbage. Yep. Uh, and we already know who wins. It has to be. It has to be them. Yep. Damage Control cannot win at all. And if they do win... It'll be a bullshit move. Though they do need a win. At Bailey, this point, Bailey especially needs a win. At this point, I'm going to say at WrestleMania, they lose. Yep. And they lose badly. Mm-hmm. And apparently, the next step is setting up a Trish heel turn to feud oh, with Becky Lynch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Which I'm in for. I'm down with I'm that. all I'm in down for with it. That. Okay. Uh, but what I think should happen is I think. They take damage control off TV for a bit. Yep. And bring him back as a babyface crew. Interesting. Yeah. Because yeah, that would work. Eo Shirai. Oh, sorry, Eo Sky. Eo Sky now, yes. Babyface. Oh yeah. Better as a babyface. Even when they turned her kind of heel and they got rid of her mask gimmick and stuff like that, they started doing the stumbling around stuff. She was over as a babyface. Mm. They tried as a heel, and they they just couldn't. Plus, she wrestles as a babyface anyway. Yeah. I'm not necessarily saying bring back the hugger, Bailey, but tweak the role model character. Mm-hmm. Dakota Kai was babyface strongly right up oh, until... I love Dakota. They did the Shawn Michaels heel turn for yeah. her, and they paired her up with Raquel Gonzalez. <laughs> Sorry, Red Regis. I, yeah, I yeah, what, yeah, whatever he's going by. This um, so, yeah, damage control absolutely has to lose. Yep. Yeah. The match will be as good as it can be, considering we've got Trish, who hasn't wrestled in a million years. 
uh, Lita still can do the salt, and she's mm -hmm. doing she's mm -hmm. good. She's about as good as she can be, considering her circumstances. Yeah, you know. But you've got like four really good active wrestlers that can help. So the match, I think, will be as good as it can be. That's fine. Uh, what else do we got? Um, that's about... no, I'm missing something. Oh, oh well, uh, Bray Wyatt that. and uh, if Bray Wyatt and Lashley actually happen, if it happens, yeah. if it actually happens, Bray has to win. He does. Bray has to win. It has to be has to be fairly definitive. You know, uh, I'm okay if Bobby eats it clean. Mm -hmm. I love Bobby Lashley. I'm a huge Bobby Lashley fan. But I'm okay if he eats it clean, even though I'm not a huge fan of this version of Bray Wyatt. Yeah, he has to win, and it has to be like, like a dominant victory, not necessarily clean, but it has to be a dominant victory. And and maybe we can do the uh, the gimmick that Bobby Lashley was trying to get over with Vince, where Bobby Lashley he actually proposes to Vince, he loses right, and he gets so down on himself. That he actually starts to gain weight. What? He pitched this to Vince. He goes, I, I just lose, and then I go on a losing streak, and I become like I start gaining weight. I just and that's and then like the whole gimmick is now me trying to lose the weight and get back to fighting shape to like prime Bobby Lashley. So I say do it. That'd be awesome. I mean, I'm not saying he he gets like disgustingly huge right yeah obviously because at his age it's really gonna be hard for him to lose the pounds oh yeah but could yeah. you imagine him like fat terry on brooklyn 99 that'd be great when he was snagging that'd be great and then like and that's the gimmick and yeah. he's gotta like lose weight to get back in fighting yeah. shape just so he could kill bray wyatt again that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah so that's that's my thoughts on that match oh. So that, I guess that's it then, eh? Uh, I'm, uh, unless LA Knight Stone Cold happens. Which, oh man. I hope it happens. So do I. I hope it happens. It's stunned out of, in, like, into the crowd. Yeah. Fuck. It could be like a quick little... It doesn't have to be anything, anything special. Be, it could be a back, back lot brawl type deal. I mean... It could even just be that, like, Stone Cold comes out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cuts a promo. Yep. L.A. Knight comes out and says, you can't have a WrestleMania without L.A. Stunner. Yep. And then Austin goes, yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. I just see like, oh, hell. And then L.A. Knight cut it in. Oh, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, uh, they could do that whole like, uh, like the Jericho thing where he's like, you touch me, I'm going to stun you. Yeah. And then they do the beers thing and then they do that. And he's like, oh, shit, I touched you. <laughs> <laughs> something something yeah. i think that'd be a lot of fun that'd be a lot of fun. that'd be fun and you know uh yeah like well like you said earlier la lights la night is losing <laughs> oh he's losing every single he is losing and nobody cares yeah. nobody cares i think that's pretty much it like uh, i think there's well there's a tag battle royal yeah yeah for both men and women uh or wait no i don't think there's one for the women there's something with the women though, because wasn't Raquel Rodriguez trying to do a? There was like a. I'm sure there's going to be a kickoff show with that. With yeah, but yeah. I mean, there's no money in the bank matches on this one, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, Triple H didn't want it. He didn't want that. He didn't want the Andre Battle Royal. That's usually at WrestleMania. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The tag, tag, uh, whatever tag turmoil thing that they're going to do. I honestly, I think they're going to go Ricochet and Braun Strowman, mm -hmm. which I'm okay with. Like, whatever, fine. What's what? What do they get out of it? Number one contenders. For yeah, I believe that's. I believe that's what it is. So yeah, I mean yeah. that's fine. All right, cool. Uh, other than that, whatever they do with the women, like there's got to be something because there's a huge chunk of women that have nothing to do. Like Chelsea Green, for instance, mm -hmm. her uh, Karen gimmick, entertaining, weird. That she's not being pushed up the card, though. Yeah. But then again, she they brought her back prior to WrestleMania, so we'll see. She's in a holding pattern. Mm -hmm. We'll see what mm -hmm. happens. They'll fit them in somewhere. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So overall, I think this is going to be a crazy... This is like a, a WrestleMania I'm excited for. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm pumped for this. Oh, yeah. And I almost wish this was WrestleMania 40 just because of how grand it's going to be. Yeah. And, like, like, you're on the cusp of potentially seeing both nights. Yeah. That's that's huge for you. That is huge.
That is huge. So, uh, guys, yes. That so that's the Wrestling week. Roundup, a.k.a. the WWE Roundup. because Basically just else. WrestleMania, WrestleMania predictions and thoughts and, and prayers yep. and all that other fun stuff. So thank you for letting us rant. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> okay, I'm going to touch on this quickly. Disney returned to physical media. Did you, uh, you, you saw... Bob Iger come in there. He goes, you know why? Yeah, you know what? Because Disney Plus is losing big money. No, no. You know why? Because we sat there and said, we did it. You got to get on that over shit and over Disney. and over and over we again. We kept saying it. We said, come on, man. Physical yeah. and physical. And you know what? The, you know what it is. I think part of it too is like, like, look at this. Look at this. Where, 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 uh, where, 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 where we got at? Okay, look. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you, look at what I'm touching. Yeah. I'm touching, oh wow, I'm touching a really nice Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> this is really He just nice. realized what he's holding. Japanese. My Japanese Spider-Verse. God, this is incredible. Okay, so first yeah. of all, I'm touching something. You're holding it. When I'm streaming something, yes, it is incredibly convenient that I just do this, mm -hmm. and then I spend four hours trying to figure out what I want to watch, but yeah. then when I finally press play, right there for the right. convenience, right. I don't have to get up. Press eject. Yep. Oh my God! Put the disc oh, in. Oh, all that hard work. But I am like you. Where I'm like, yeah, but I, I, I want this. Yeah. I want this feeling where I go. Mm. Oh, you're sniffing it now. Well, this, yeah. You're sniffing. Well, see, if you stream it a movie, different from if you Japanese. stream a movie, it, it touches your heart. I'm gonna right? let you put that back in. It I touches your heart. It. Yeah. But when you own the physical movie, it touches your heart and your hands. Yeah. See? You got yeah. more touch. Yeah. More yeah. touch. So. And I mean, honestly, though, all the companies are saying this, though. I'll never look at that movie the same again, knowing your nose is all over it. <laughs> well, it wasn't all over it. Japanese. I didn't touch it. It was close. Goodies. It was very close. It was close. It was very close. Yeah, I, I think it, you were off camera for a little bit of it. Thank God. Are you sure there wasn't cocaine on that? Because I did, I did catch. <laughs> so that Japanese... <laughs> Dehydrated squid dust. I, to be honest, I don't know what I, mean. I've I've never snorted it, so I don't know. Yeah. If I did, I, I I've snorted um uh, was that uh quick dip? Is that what it's called? Oh, you snorted that? Yeah. Oh shit, that must have hurt like hell. It did. Oh, it did. And definitely didn't taste like cherry. No, I think we did it with a straw too. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that. Um, oh. That hurts my nose just hearing it. Oh, it hurt. It hurt. Quick, quick tips. I can't quick, remember. Quick, you know what I'm talking about. I know it's the candy stick and you oh, dip yeah. it in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's just... grape and then there's cherry and then the. Who's watching right I now? Have... What what's that candy called? Megan, are you still there? I know you know the candy. Oh man, that's that's an old relic. That, that that's one. an old relic. I love that stuff. Uh, Pure sugar. But yes. Yes, they are returning to physical media, and be, it's not just Disney's streaming service, though. It's all of them. Yeah. They're all losing money. They're all losing. Because, HBO is losing tons now. Because there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. You know? And, like, my favorite is recently, like, Sony. The head of Sony was just like, why would we Why would we do a streaming service? Yeah. We just sell the rights. <laughs> we make money that way. Yeah. And then I was like, actually, yeah, that's right. Because there's no cost to them to create a streaming service, mm -hmm. to maintain the streaming service, you know? Figure out different tiers. Yep. Right. Yep. Now, I do think, like for, like obviously for Disney and HBO, like it is a necessary evil. Yep. You have to have it because there are some people that will only ever stream, right? But us old fucks. <laughs> well, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, have have your streaming. Have an exclusivity to stream for six months. Yeah. Bring it out on physical. Exactly. Why wouldn't you? Hey, Netflix, release Daredevil season three on physical you're, you're, copy. You're losing. You're losing the money. Seriously, you're losing the money. Even at fifty bucks, I'll pay it. I don't think Netflix owns the rights anymore, do they? Hey, Disney. So Disney could be on that. Disney, actually, yeah. You know what? Do it. Yeah. Release it. Release it. I want to see like all those Marvel Star Wars shows. You'd be making a fortune off of those. You release like friggin' we uh, said the Mandalorian in a giant four hundred dollar box set. You're gonna sell out. Oh my god! You're gonna sell yeah. out. Like, like we even set it for like Werewolf by Night. Mm -hmm. Twenty bucks. I'd yeah, buy it. I'd buy it. Hell, I would have seen that in the theater. Yeah, for twenty. You don't bucks. have to put it in the stores. Just open a storefront online, like exclusive exactly. to the storefront. Exactly. I'll buy it. Yep. I like so. I th I think that's great. That's awesome. Awesome news. Uh. 
I'm hoping that they look back at the stuff that they didn't. Release. Oh man, I want prey. Give me prey on physical 100%, media. Hundred percent. Give me prey. Oh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Halloween or holiday special. Pretty much, pretty much everything. Actually, yeah. Done. I don't care what it is. Yeah, even the ones I don't really want, who cares? Still really some physical. Because somebody will want. Somebody it. wants it. Somebody wants. Somebody it. wants it. So this, like, I was pumped when I saw this. Yeah, I was also pumped that uh, Disney pushed back on uh, Rod Santis and said, uh, "Oh yeah, you want to fuck around with us about how we feel about gay people and trans people, stuff like that? Mm-hmm. That's cool. We'll have a summit. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a summit in Disneyland in Florida about all the things you hate." Mm-hmm. You know, and at least like with Disney, they don't have to try and play it up as anything other than we don't care where the money comes from. Yeah, I don't, I don't care who you sleep with, I don't care at all what you look like, how mm-hmm. you identify. But what I do care about is where that money goes. Money, and if it goes into my pocket, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. where I want it to go. Capitalism, bitches. Yep, and I mean that like is it, they're bitches. Yeah, they're bitches. Yeah. Oh no, I got that. Fuck all those hateful pricks. <laughs> Oh, so that's good news. That's absolutely incredible. That's news. good news. And it, it is promising. Like, we could potentially get... Like, imagine if Daredevil Born Again comes out. Yeah? And in celebration for that... You get a, a, a box set with all three seasons of Daredevil. Like a big limited edition box I set. I would probably cry. I'd be so yeah. happy. Yeah. I would be like, ah, I'm, I'll Ooh. do whatever it takes. Ah. They're like, Chris, you got to punch a baby. Give her, you give me all the babies. I'll punch every baby. <laughs> Who's got a baby? In all fairness, though, just so Keep we're clear, babies away just so we're clear. <laughs> if you were paying attention, I use my left hand and I'm a right handed, so okay. that punch so, that baby. So this is like tap. Not as bad as it would be if it was this fucking thing right here. Yeah, yeah. But all jokes aside, although actually I brought up Daredevil just because, uh, <laughs> partly because I love the show. Yeah. But also because Born Again, well, they're filming, right? Yeah. So you know what you see every day? Mm. Shots. Every day. And it's like, guys, let it breathe a little bit. Because I've seen, uh, let's see, seven different photos of uh, Charlie Cox and Matt Murdock Mm -hmm. out in New York. Yep, yep. In the same spot from different angles. Let it go, guys. I'm as pumped about this show as, as, well, maybe not as some of these people. But but I'm like. You look at every picture, though, don't you? Actually, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's how I, I know it's from every different. If I stitch hey, these together, I got hey, a 3D man. image. What I'm trying to do here, Charlie Cox. What I'm trying to do is here is I'm trying to act like I'm on my high horse, buddy. Well, yeah. No, okay? I know. I'm I trying know. to look down. Yeah. And you're letting me do that. As a guy at my height, I rarely look down at people. All right. Okay. So. You do it. It's too late. You, you do already, your thing. You knocked me off that horse pretty good. You did you a good go job. up with that New York skyscraper and look down at the whole crowd. You, I'm good. I'm good. You good? But uh, <laughs> anyway, so yes, thumbs up for Disney. Yeah, fucking rights. I'm I'm happy Bob Iger's back because he he's um, a big advocate for physical media. Well, no like, I mean, it was him talking with James Gunn that got the first 4K disc out there. It was it was him, wasn't it? Or no, actually no. But the longstanding tradition was to release for limited time only yeah vhs copies yeah. of aladdin and uh, limited time only yeah, they had the straight vault. from the vault the that's vault. right right from the vault right from the vault. you only have this amount of time to get yeah. this and then it's never going to happen again now the vault just stays locked it never opens yeah. never opens open the vault disney oh my god all right yeah okay that's exciting news all right What's uh this, this, this kind of, yeah, yeah i know this kind of this kind of we were on wrestlemania for a while yeah we got Okay, Oscars go fan friendly. It's kind of old news now, but uh, I, just, I didn't watch it. You didn't so watch I have it? no idea. I will tell you right now. But then again, that I haven't for watched the first Oscars time in, in my life. I'm happy with every single winner. No. Okay, but, Brendan Fraser was incredible in the whale. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. He got. I haven't watched actor. it yet, but I watched his acceptance speech, and it yeah, was fucking incredible. It's beautiful. Actually, I watched it's beautiful. all almost all the things that yeah. he had said and done. Like even with yeah. the oh, I forgot his name from everywhere. Everything Wait, everywhere. Yeah, which ones. one? Uh, what's his name? Not Michelle Yeoh, but uh, Ki Ki Hugh Kwan, or yeah, the guy from uh, yeah, Goonies. Encino Man, Goonies, Goonies Man. Which I fucking, I was like, holy shit, he was in Encino Man. Yeah, wow. Yeah, but uh, so I even watched that their interaction and oh man, it's just, just a really, it was a really feel good Oscars because but you know what? Everybody was though? just 
like all the winners. You're just you feel good about it. What threw me though was that you said go fan friendly, and I kind of sounded like it was like they were pandering or they were going woke, <laughs> whatever that is. Well, I mean, <laughs> to some they probably did. <laughs> yeah. Well, to, to I, me, to be fair, to me, a couple of Asians did win. Yeah. So, oh, uh, oh no, God. Holy one of them shit. was a woman. Holy shit. So. Best picture was like a movie with all Asians. Yeah, I did. I will say, I did get a chuckle, a full on chuckle when uh, what was it? Uh, when Michelle Yeoh won, mm -hmm. and they immediately show a shot of uh, was it Angelica Houston? Oh, Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. That's right. And uh, and she had the sour face because she lost. And I was like, oh, okay. So you can't be disappointed that you didn't win. Yeah, you're not allowed. Yeah. Uh, like straight up. <laughs> Oh, especially because... Oh, it wasn't Michelle Yeoh. It was uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, for, yes, so yeah, it was Jamie So, so when Jamie Lee Curtis won, right. and I was, you know, I was going for Angela Bassett. Okay. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, obviously. yeah. Obviously. I mean, obviously. look at my Halloween shit all over the place. Yeah. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. Might as well just jerk and, off and, and her every day. And she was, she, was funny. <laughs> <laughs> she was great in that movie. Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> but Angela Bassett in Wakanda Forever, man, that performance... Gave me chills. I but I that's the only I, reason. That's I, honestly the only reason I really want to watch it. She again. was so good. She was so good. So good. So fucking good. Yeah. And I agree. Like I mean, I look. I loved everything everywhere all at once. Yeah. I thought it was great. I thought everyone was great in it. But yes, I I do agree. Bassett should have won. But I also agree that that it's okay for her to be disappointed that she didn't win, especially because leading up to that, mm -hmm. they. Like they were putting her as the odds on favor. Yeah. They were saying, Yeah, she's gonna win. She's gonna yeah. fucking win. She's gonna fucking yeah. win. So, you know, and if that's me, and if someone's saying, like, you're gonna win, you're gonna win, you're gonna win, and I don't win, I'm not gonna be like, Yeah, I totally did right? win. Right. Woo! It's kinda like me last year when I was gonna buy into a company. Yeah. You're gonna you got it. It's yeah. all yours. It's yeah, all exactly. you. take like, out the money. Oh, it's all right. yours. We won with someone else. Oh, like, oh me. high five. High five to them. High five for potentially fucking Cheers. my credit. This is great. I love working for you dudes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So but I, of course part of it was like, well, you know, like she it's because she's a black woman, so she can't be disappointed. It's like what the fuck? That makes no sense. Exactly. I it makes no sense. So if it was any other color person sitting there disappointed, like, like if the that's okay, they're white. If the situation was reversed, yeah, right, and they Jamie were like, Curtis was Jamie, disappointed. you're gonna win. Yeah. You're totally gonna win." Yeah. And then Angela Bassett wins, and she had the sad face. I don't blame her. People would probably shit on her too. You give a performance that you love. You get nominated for all these awards, and then you fucking, lose. Of course, you're disappointed. Like, I mean, I get it. I know anger, angertainment is is yeah. big, but mm -hmm. I, we don't need to. We don't need to fabricate shit. No. And also, for the record, it's okay to be disappointed. Oh, really? It is. <laughs> it's it's a, it's called human emotion. It's strange. <laughs> it's strange. Jesus. Anyway. Man, people just bitch about everything. Yeah, fuck them. Like, fuck them all. Let's bitch about the people who bitch about everything. Yeah. <laughs> And they could bitch about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people try to fucking like bitch about Daredevil, but not me. <laughs> not on my high horse. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Final topic. Yep. We're not touching on Insta questions today, obviously, because sorry guys, we are also, loaded. Even even if we were going to, we can't now. Okay. Here we go. This weekend, Jonathan Wick the Fourth. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I noticed we uh, cut Hitman, but that's okay. Mm. We oh yeah, that's you okay. Talk about Hitman. No, 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 no. We because I'll, I'll. You go off on Hitman. Okay, next next episode is Hitman. That's fine. No, no. I, Chris, we talk about Hitman. No, no, no. Next episode. I'm just saying, like, it's probably for the best because I've had a couple of instances where I'm like. So anyway, John Wick oh. chapter four. Oh. Or as oh. I like to call it, Jonathan Wick the fourth. Yeah, well, you're wrong. <laughs> Even even in our text, I'm like JWC four. Yeah, <laughs> but I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm seeing it Saturday. Mm -hmm. to, I confirmed tonight. I'm seeing yeah. it Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what it was was because of course, like Michelle works this weekend. Yeah. So she had a particularly busy day on Friday. So I was like, yeah, we'll just do this Saturday. Yeah. And well, whatever. Just ignore the internet for twenty four hours. Well, I mean, 
Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. 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 <laughs> and specifically, yeah. <laughs> like, there's five sites that you have to can't even look at because they'll literally be like, John Wick, or see, John Wick died in John Wick 4. And then yeah. you're like, what the fuck, guys? Or, or you'll be reading something that has got nothing to do with John Wick. And the <laughs> first time the comment section goes, you guys see John Wick die last night? <laughs> you're like, why would you? This has nothing to do. I'm Thanks, gonna kill, asshole. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I'm exactly. Kill you. Like, even though the marketing is pretty lackluster, I can't wait for this movie. Yeah, it actually has been, eh? Very little trailers. It's been um, non-existent. I mean, I guess the trailers are there. I haven't really been watching them, though. I, I watched... TV spots and stuff? I'm ignoring it. No, yeah, I don't watch... I've watched the it. one, like, full trailer Yeah. Uh, a couple I'm, of times. I, then I watched the trailer after that, too. Yeah. Because I love the music in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I, yeah, I just... I can't wait. I can't wait. Now, it does sound more and more like this is officially the last one. Yeah, because they're taking a definitive break after well, this. Well, because even uh, Stahelski had said in interviews recently that... Like, he's like, I know I say this after every single one, that it's the last one. It's the last one. And, like, and originally, because we talked about this, where originally it was going to be four and five, and then they just stopped mentioning five because of COVID, right? Yeah. Because they were going to film them concurrently just like. I know some four is three hours long, and you're like, okay, well, maybe. Yeah. Well, the one big kicker, though, is Stahelski said, do you have any idea how hard it is and time-consuming it is to find new and interesting locations to Mm -hmm. shoot? And I was like. Oh, yeah, I never even thought of it from that perspective, because yeah. why would I, right? I'm not yeah. a director uh, or a cinematographer, you know? But and then I was like, oh, yeah, you're right, because, like, even just in John Wick, you had, well, his house. Mm-hmm. You had uh, the uh, the nightclub. Yep. You know, then you had the you church. Had, you had that little factory thing where John Lee Zimmer worked at. Yeah. That little car the, garage. Uh, chop shop, that's what they the call chop it. Chop shop, yeah. Yeah. You had the um, the pier. The pier, that's mm-hmm, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. the the continental. Yep. Plus, you also had to introduce certain aspects of the lore to let you know that this isn't quite yep. the real world. Yep. You know, uh, and then in the second one, you had then you start world hopping in the second. Yeah, one. You had Italy. So you had the Italian continental. Mm-hmm. You had the catacombs. Yep. You had the Italian uh, party or concert. Uh, plus, you had, well, basically everything in Italy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> entire city. Yeah, yeah. And then when he's back on home ground, you have him like, and John Legend. It's John Legend, right? The singer? No, not John Legend. It's the other guy, Common. Okay. Okay. Common. You know, and yep. then you had them battling it yep. out, and then even the uh, the the montage of him fighting in like the subway station and all mm-hmm. the other places and stuff like that. And then you get to the third one. They had to go to like friggin' the Middle East. Yeah. Just to take that out, but you also had like the neon streets of New. Oh man, that fuck is just so yeah. much. And then this one looks huge. Like they're going everywhere in this oh, one. They have to. Yeah. He's taking down the high table. Yeah. He has to. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh my god. It's gonna be good. It's already it's gonna be good. like okay. And then because uh, you posed the question to me, and you and yeah, you were like, "It's a tough question." Mission Impossible Seven: Dead yeah. Reckoning Part One. Yeah. Is it gonna be better than John Wick? John Wick uh, the Fourth, just for you. Thank just you. Just for you. Thank you. They're both going to be great, but which one comes out on top? Like, if you put your top ten list of of twenty twenty three together, which one is going to be higher on the ranking? Yeah, but see, that's the tough part because even I said like they're both different types of movies. Yeah, but but you have your definitive my definitive films of twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Right. So so say we put that list as together at the end of this right year. Now, as of right now, this is a cop out. I fully admit this is a cop right, I can't right. answer that until I watch both movies. Fair. Okay. I will say, though, just from the hype, mm-hmm. uh, but to be fair, Dead Reckoning did uh, test screenings, and it apparently was incredible. Oh, of course it is. So they, they were just like, it's just another one, three-hour movie, and yeah. they were just like, like kisses all around. They're like, oh, it's amazing. Uh, you know. So uh, I, I, I can't really say anything, mm-hmm. but if, if John Wick chapter four mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is as good that's the only time it's the only time that was the one time as i would have appreciated if it's it even half as good as yeah. there's like when they're saying it's the greatest action film of all time mm-hmm. i'm like okay i'm i'm no stranger to hyperbole yeah uh, or hyperbole as some people would pronounce it hyperbole uh what's his name brian, brian regan brian hyperbole regan. no brian regan actually his oh yeah uh, yeah it's uh the epitome of hyperbole and you have to to watch his stand up to get that joke, <laughs> but Brian Regan's fucking hilarious. 
I think if you saw Brian Regan, you'd yeah. go, that guy. Oh, yeah? That guy. Well, then. Yeah. Where but anyway. My, oh, we're gonna, anyway. Uh, but it, it's happened. The thing is, is that all three movies, yeah. even though in the third one, even though the fight scenes in uh, Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that guy. Told you. That guy. I told you. I told you. Uh, even though that's probably the weakest part of the movie for me, just yeah. because the it's the drab color tones. Yeah. The fight scenes are incredible with the dogs. Halle Berry kicks some serious fucking ass in this, mm -hmm, even though mm -hmm. she should, because she trained with Keanu Reeves. She should, yeah. And she didn't have to, but she did. I thought she was going to get a spinoff out of this. I think that was the original idea. But then they went with Ballerina instead. Which I'm also okay with, because I I'm like down. Anna de Armas, yeah. uh, and I think Ghosted <laughs> looks surprisingly like a lot of fun. Yeah. Especially because uh, Chris Evans is going back to like vintage Chris Evans work, where yeah. he's an idiot, <laughs> and he can't fight to save his life. I think that's, that's fucking that's hilarious. That's going to be great. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but like, even in that sense, it's still like, they're both, all three of those movies, I'm like, holy crap, like they're just so fucking crazy yeah so but they top each other like you know like if you you like i've i've read report like some people go well, yeah but like once after you get past the first one then it starts getting like totally unrealistic where like they've got bulletproof clothing and all this stuff and it's like the first one wasn't realistic either mm -hmm. he would have been dead <laughs> oh yeah he's very much dead you know he like in that in his fight in his house in his house at the very beginning even if he lived, yeah, the cop wouldn't be like, uh, "Hey, uh, everything okay there, John?" Looking mm -hmm. at blood splatters, yeah, bodies. Yeah, real life. John gets shot. Uh, he immediately there's, oh, oh, hands up, hands up, hands get up, your fucking down to the ground, hands up, John. You know, it's not a casual like, oh, yeah. you're working again, and John's just like, uh, something like that. And they calls for takeout, which is for cleaners, <laughs> and pays with gold coins. Like, yes. So fuck off, fuck yeah. off of this bullshit. But I think I think John Wick Four is gonna be absolutely incredible. The only caveat I have for Mission Impossible Seven, and I did say this in the text, is that this could have a like at least an ending in the sense that like I'm saying it ends with John Wick dying, yeah. but yeah. it could end with him. Dying, but he's off living in the world, not looking like Keanu Reeves as John Wick. Right. He could be in Paris sitting across from Michael Caine. Exactly. And he just does this, like, eh? You know? Doesn't change his appearance at all. No. The one thing I loved about that Bruce Wayne did, yeah. it's like, yeah. he didn't even try to not look like Bruce Wayne. Like, dye hair blonde or something. <laughs> they say, <laughs> some. <laughs> in, in Batman Begins, yeah. Ra's al Ghul says, you had to travel halfway around the world to find some people that didn't recognize who Bruce Wayne was. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. But Bruce Wayne, once he came back, Bruce Wayne was there. He was buying shit. He was being a billionaire, yeah. playboy, blah, blah, blah. How could you escape that at that point? You could escape it then. Not now, but okay, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so, uh, so that could be the ending. Whereas Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 tells you that it's, it's going one. to end like... Uh, Infinity War. I loved Infinity War, mm -hmm. except you have to almost immediately watch Endgame right after Infinity War. Yes. It's got to be within the next couple of days. Otherwise, you go, ah. Oh. Yeah. It's not settled, you know? Now, luckily, I'll only have to wait another year to see part uh, two. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> if I had to wait fucking five more years, I'd be punching babies. With my right hand. Here you go with the punch of babies again. Look at me, man. Are you kicking babies? What do you think I'm going to do? Punch an adult? Baby. Do you think I'm even going to punch a kid in high school? No. no. You got to fucking punch babies. Because what are they going to do? They're pretty little now. Are I, they going to punch back? Right. They might be offended. The baby? The baby. Well, at this point. The baby's going to be offended. If I'm punching babies, I obviously don't give a shit if I'm offending them. <laughs> give no fucks about that. <laughs> but anyway. But anyway, so yeah. that's where I'm at. I'm at, like, I think both movies are going to be great, absolutely incredible, but it is going to be one of those where even if, like, it's almost like you won't be able to exhale until you see part two. That's kind of the point I'm trying to make. Well, I hope you do, though. Well, or else you'll die. Or at least pass out so that pass your out. body automatically starts yeah. breathing again. <laughs> just start falling down the stairs at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is like no just leave him he'll yeah, wake up yeah he'll he'll start breathing again eventually. he'll wake up yeah body good. naturally does he's that. good yep yeah 
I think he's also doing it for attention. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so that's that's where I'm at with that. I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to yeah. see either movie, honestly. Yeah. Uh, and Dune 2? Huh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. This is, I keep forgetting that's this year already. This is a great year. I'm this so, is a really great year for movies. And I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm also... Uh, I'm also pumped to see um, Mar- the Marvels. I'm pumped to see that one because I'm very intrigued to see how they'll handle Captain Marvel mm-hmm. 2, essentially. Yeah. The, in- the reintroduction of both uh, Marvel yeah. and... Uh, What's she going by? Spectrum? Spectrum, I think they're called. Is that what she's Spectrum. going by? Well, Miss Marvel... Or Photon. She's had different... Oh, Photon. Different names. I think it's Photon. Yeah? Okay. I'm not sure if they're... They might be Spectrum, actually. They might go with Spectrum because she had Spectrum-based powers, I think, in WandaVision, if I remember correctly. But I haven't re-watched that show since uh, since the first time. Mm-hmm. And I don't think mm-hmm. I will. Yeah. It was a one and done for me. I think if I watched it again, I'd just start rating episode five. Yeah, possibly. Five or six or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Or like halfway through five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. As soon as, soon as uh, Mr. Boner gets in there. I probably, you know what? Honestly, I probably just watched the last like three, three episodes, yeah. six or seven, eight, nine, whatever. Regardless, I'm I'm probably never rewatching it, so it'll just be YouTube clips. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so that one I'm 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 not like pumped for, but I am intrigued. Like I want to see how they handle it. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be better than Shazam Two. Even though, well, I, the, and the reason why I say this is like like Ant Man Quantum Mania. Yeah. Was awesome. Yes. Okay. And then you hear no one talking about it all of a sudden. Well, because they came out saying it sucked dick and it was horrible. And I'm like, did you guys watch Thor 4? What is the box office for that even at It's now? close. I think it's close to breaking even. Is it? I, 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 I gotta look. I gotta look. Which is fine. I'm pretty sure it was close to breaking even. So the nice thing about not shooting on my phone anymore is I can actually look at my Yeah, phone. well, that's the same thing with me too, where like uh, I can just grab my phone if I wanted to. I like to go to the numbers. Yeah, I'm a numbers guy too. Way better than box office mojo. Ant Man. Nope. Nope. Only little franchises, actually. Little franchises. I'm going to see how Ant Man is doing. Ant Man franchises. I'm just talking because you, you're not talking. No, I'm, I'm actually and, not and, talking. And we're live. So, so uh, uh, yeah. So here I'm talking. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. I'm looking at. I'm looking at. And man, by its office, there it is. Okay. So Quantum Mania has passed the first, and it's ten million away from passing. Uh, the oh, second. well, that's that's uplifting. Domestically, domestically, still though. Worldwide, yeah. It's yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. It's quite behind. It's pretty bleak. It's sixty million behind the first. It's and pretty bleak. It is probably. It's well, almost, the budget was what two fifty mil, if I yeah, remember it's correctly. About, it's about one hundred and eighty behind the second movie. And so there, so it's two fifty mil worldwide. Yeah. Is what is it at? Uh, worldwide is just over four, so it is at uh, what's that four sixty one? Oh, so it's not even at the break even point. It's, it's not at, even at close to break. Yeah, it's not doing good internationally. Actually, I don't know why. I well, partly was because well, they're not. Critics savaged it. Critics savaged it. China doesn't show DC, uh, Disney stuff anymore. Well, yeah, yeah. Because you know, hey, look, you know what? That's a that's a stance Disney took. Yeah, they said, hey, that's look, look we and I and I feel like that's fair. Like I understand that like movies get edited for certain regions that they go to for whatever reason. Yep. But like that's on their end. Yeah. That's not China going. Oh, hold on. This this is what you're gonna do, you know. So I'm glad that they didn't uh, kowtow to dictators and tyrants. Mm-hmm. You know, kowtow, kowtow. That's an actual word. That's a good word. Yeah, it's fun too. I think it's uh, kowtow like, or like bend the knee if that if you oh yeah, yeah, yeah bend yeah, the yeah. knee bend the knee to dictators and tyrants. Yes. Um, I think it's spelled D I C K. Anyway. Oh man, we lost all our viewers. We rambled. It was the punching babies. I think it was the four hour WrestleMania. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> you know. And also people have things to do. They do. Yeah. They do. That's fine. Because now they get to miss the best part of the whole episode. Well, I think that's probably part of it too, because they're like, Yeah, we stay for this. We don't give a fuck about yeah. Sky Captain, which is disappointing. Very disappointing. Disappointing. 
because now it's time for Sky Captain and, and the, the world, world of tomorrow. tomorrow. The world of tomorrow as seen through the eyes of 2004. <clears throat> okay, one viewer came back. It's the singing. Hey. Hey, you brought that. Hey. So, yeah. So, directed <laughs> by uh, Kerry Conrad. Mm -hmm. Written by Kerry Conrad. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for him, it was a one and done. But we'll get to the so the circumstances and the controversies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, produced by John Abnett, Sadie Frost, Jude Law, and Marsha Oglesby, starring in no particular order, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yep. Uh, actually, hold on. Nope. Sorry. Jude Law as Joseph Sullivan slash Sky Captain. He commands a private air force known as the Flying Legion. He's a captain in the sky. Yeah, which, and I, I love they did that uh, the radio patrol, like yeah. sky captain call, calling calling sky captain. Come in, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, so then we've got Gwyneth Paltrow as Polly Perkins, mm -hmm. reporter for the New York Chronicle, and you know, may or may not have had a thing with Mister Joe back in the day. Oh, she they had it. Yeah, totally. they, and they end up having a thing they later. Definitely had a thing. Uh, third on the list, Angelina Jolie is Commander Francesca Cook or Frankie. Frankie. First time you watch that movie and you hear Frankie, you're just like, oh, it's his buddy Frankie. Like, yeah. that's actually pretty cool. And then yeah. you see it's Francesca, you're like, oh! And also, uh, peak Angelina Jolie for me, I think. I've never been the hugest fan of her. I've always thought, like, like it, when it was uh, Jennifer Aniston and mm -hmm, Angelina mm -hmm. Jolie, I was always like, Jennifer Aniston, but I mean, I'm not going to say Angelina Jolie is ugly. Yeah, by any means. No, I don't mind Angelina. But, uh, I mean, she had that that good run in the 2000s. Yeah, it was a good run. Yeah, uh, I actually it's funny because she kind of does like uh, the George Clooney thing where she does movies every once in a while. Yeah. The difference is, I look back and I go like, "How is George Clooney a thing? He's not really that good of an actor. He's just George Clooney. He's just everything. always George Clooney." And I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked him in movies. Yeah. But. Even now, I'm like, like, what does he do now? Does he have his own production? He doesn't company? even change his look. He's just well, brushed out George Clooney. He doesn't have to because he's ageless. Yeah, well, that's true. I mean, he's, yeah. How dare you have all that money yeah. and access to the top of the? I don't even want to get into it. Giovanna Ribisi as Dexter, Dex Dearborn, Ace Dex. Mechanic yeah. of the Flying Legion. Michael Gambon as Mister Paley, editor of the New York Chronicle, the boss mm. of Polly. Mm -hmm. Omid Jolly as Kaji, former comrade in arms from the Flying Legion. And uh, I got to tell you, I forgot he was in this movie. And when I seen him, I was like, that's like, he, he, it's the most least uh, stereotypical look he's ever had in his entire life. <laughs> yeah, because he's true. Like, he always plays like an Arabic ethnic person. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, first of all, he didn't have the beard. Yeah. And I think it was the lightest I've ever seen him. But uh, anyway, he was in it and he's great as always. Uh, we've also got Bai Ling as the mysterious woman. Oh, Bai Ling. Yep. I always loved Bai Ling. I, uh, I was always a fan of her, but and then she was like in and out. You know. In and out real quick. I she was pretty much permanently out after this. I think. Well, yeah. Yeah. Julian Curry as Dr. Jorge Vargas, a missing scientist. Jorge? Trevor Baxter as Dr. Walter Jennings, a scientist, of course. Mm, yes, a scientist. And uh, believe it or not, Peter Law. Dr. Kessler, mm -hmm. a missing scientist, mm -hmm. and yes, that is Jude Law's dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is. Con Bonfield as one of the double agent guides working for Totemkov. And Totemkov. finally, finally. As Totemkov. Lawrence Olivier, who had been deceased for nearly 13 years yeah. at the time of filming and was depicted in the role of Dr. Totemkov, the mysterious mad scientist and supervillain via computer manipulation of video and audio. What? Yeah. That alone. All from when he was a young actor. Like, that's incredible. So that's kind of the stuff I was talking about. Like, that there? Yeah. Yeah, sure, that would balloon the budget a bit. But $70 million? Oh, that's right. That's mm. right. Because getting back to this, this was done on a budget of reportedly $70 million, And the box office was $58 million, which means this bombed horribly. Oh, and I'll never understand why. But... Kevin Conran disputed the budget figure in 2015. He actually yeah, literally said... he's been very vocal. Carrie disappeared. Yeah. Kevin is still very vocal about everything. Sorry. 
Carrie Conrad. Did I say Kevin? I you said Kevin. Kevin. I oh, was this Carrie that actually Carrie, said it? Carrie oh, Carrie said this. Now, wow. Okay. And when I came across this, I was like, whoa, really? Right? So he goes, like, I take great issue with that budget figure personally, and I'd like someone to show me where all that money went. I don't support those numbers, and I never have. We walked into John Abnett, uh, the producer, yep. one of the producers, office that first day and said, what do you want for the production? He goes, he said, what do you want for the production? And we said, three million. We could have made that million or that movie, uh, done a version of this film for three million. It would have been black and white, sans name actors. But even still, this whole thing was going to be under 20 million. So how it went from 20 to 70, you tell me. And that's what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. We were trying to figure out different ways. And even it, like we were saying, like even if every major actor in that thing yep. was like 3 billion, 2 billion, 5 billion, if half of it was just salary for the big name actors, where's the other? Like we came up, yeah. the closest we came to was like 32 million. And you know what? I'll round it up to 40. Just for the sake of argument, for everybody, for like the production costs, the people, the hand grips, whatever, whatever. The, if you were, uh, you even looked at the set, yeah, you yeah. got some money, okay? Yeah. yeah. Where's the other thirty million? Because the marketing wasn't that great. No. You know, but anyway, uh, the worst part about all this, I said this right in the beginning. This is literally a diamond in the rough. Oh yeah. This is like when this came out, you and I both watched it. And both of us were like, holy shit, this is awesome. This really blew my mind. I remember being floored I felt by like it. I was in the 40s watching this. And like, every time you bring back this, you reference this movie by saying a 1940s Superman. I, that's, that's and I, all the time. I felt that way watching this this time around. I was like, yeah, totally. totally. You got it this time? 100%. See, How like, could you not? I, and that's why I said, like, Kerry Conrad, after this, fuck Superman Returns. But... They should have made an old school Superman. They movie. could also, they could also have done a sort of almost live action Batman the animated series yeah. in the same style they could because that easily. was very much a period piece. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, there was computers and stuff like that, but you look at the cars they were driving, the clothes they were wearing. Yeah, it was literally the. 1930s style Batman. It was in the 90s. So, I, and that was the other thing I was thinking too. I was like, man, this actually reminds me of Batman the Animated Series. Mm -hmm. Like, holy shit. I know. But the atmosphere, like within the first 30 seconds of watching this again, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot that feeling. Cause yeah. I was like immediately brought in and I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, giddy. And, and all of a sudden, like things are just happening too. The robots are showing up, yep. destroying Manhattan. You know, it was like uh, the opening sequence of uh, Batman v Superman. Mm. You know, yeah. We didn't have uh, Ben Affleck's uh, dialogue over it though, which that's unfortunate. Your mileage may vary on that, but what was uh, he doing in two thousand four? No diamond absolutes. Oh yeah, Geely. No diamond absolutes. <laughs> oh yeah, Geely. He was doing Geely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was busy. It, very lucky that that didn't kill everyone's career in that movie. Oh yeah, it it fucked them for a while though. I, you know, Kevin Smith brought and did Jersey Girl right after it. Yeah. I think he helped them. Yeah, well. Jersey Girl's good. Jersey Girl's amazing. I love Jersey Girl. I love Girl. Jersey Girl. George uh, Conner's amazing. In it. Everyone's amazing in that. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, but so yeah, within the, <laughs> when I first started, uh, Michelle's just like, is it like in the, is it always like, is it going to be in that sepia tone all the way through? I was like, yeah. Yeah. Cause it's supposed to mimic, one of those like 1930s serials and she's like serials i was like sorry those are what they showed at theaters yes yeah they were called serials and so they did them with batman and they did them with shazam and superman actually shazam might not have been a serial but anyway they had serials and uh she's like oh and i was like they're trying to mimic that yeah but also having a, a big budget two-hour movie hour and 42 minutes yeah or something yeah like that. yeah it's just under but uh and uh, I said when we got there, like in terms of special effects, there's only a couple of parts where, and it's just because like when they go to Shangri-La, that's where you can really tell that it's CGI and it's mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. green screen yeah. and shit like that. But when it's in that gray sepia, almost black and white, really hard to oh, tell. Oh, yeah, it looks sharp. Really hard to tell. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the only time is when you're really close up to the robots. Like the scene where... Uh, 
Polly is dodging them on the streets. You could tell there that she's not near actual robots. Yeah, but yeah. But other than that, but even then, it wasn't like, oh, fuck, I'm totally out of this movie. I was just like, oh, I don't care. I was just like, oh, I don't care. Oh, man. It's aged really well. Pacing is great, too. Yep. Like, and it's just, it's tons of fun. It's good. The music and the cinematography, and it's just that old school adventure feel. Exactly. Like, exactly. Like, like Romancing I said to you, the Stone, it had that Romancing exactly. the Stone vibe. Yeah. Uh, or even like The Mummy to yep. bring back our conversation exactly. with Brendan Fraser. Yep. It was just this fun, action adventure flick that didn't take itself too seriously but also wasn't treating anything like a joke yep you know like it respected the source material and what it was based on e even though it was considered uh diesel punk which i just uh that's a cool term it is it is what else falls under diesel punk because i want to check it out now uh we'll we'll check that later we'll but check uh, out diesel punk but yeah no like uh anyone in there talking about diesel punk no nobody okay. <laughs> nobody Nobody's talking Damn. about diesel punk. Come on now. But even just like even just something like I said right at the beginning of the like the, the broadcast, radio broadcast, calling sky captain. Yeah. It's the captain, come in. Yeah. Calling sky and then all of a sudden the plane comes in and you're just Through like the clouds. Oh Ooh. shit. You yeah. know, and he's got the goggles on and everything, and then it's just Jude Law. Jude Law, he's flying through the city streets and he looks down, he's like, Polly. Polly, what are you doing? Hey, Polly. Polly Perkins. <laughs> Flying this plane real quick, but I can see I don't know you. why it's coming across like uh John McLean in <laughs> Holly 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 when he's acting <laughs> bat shit because he's bleeding out yeah. and he's gotta save the day. Oh fuck. But uh like it's and it's actually a star studded cast too. It really is. Like you like like they weren't huge yet, but they all became big. Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Joe Lee were all Big names. At, even in 2004, they were big names. Paltrow, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Paltrow, Paltrow has big, been a big name since her fucking first movie. I mean, Seven was 94, right? That's 10 years before this. So, yeah, no, she, she was... She and Jolie and Jude Law were already established. Jude Law was so-so. So-so. Is that, Joe, Joe Lee was really getting big around this time. Yeah. Cause, well, because yeah, you said it was like... Hot Tomb Raider was like a year, a year before this. and Yeah. Yeah. She was in everything. Well, and yeah, exactly. She was in everything. And and not to knock her, she's an incredible actress. Incredible mm -hmm. actress. But then again, like, to not to knock Gwyneth Paltrow, even though I think she's insane. Like, as a person, I think she's insane. Oh, she's insane. Just, just that whole, like, so rich that you have no idea how the rest of the world functions. Works. Yeah. That you're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. But yeah. great actress. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh Played that Lois Lane type character to a T, mm -hmm. but even Jude Law, like I mean, okay, yeah, you're right. Like he, I'm not saying he was as on their level, yeah, but it, he wasn't like on the cusp of stardom in this. No, movie. everyone he knew all, who he yeah. was. He wasn't a huge star, but what, you like, knew who Jude Law was. Well, because I mean, you know, you watch Talented Mr. Ripley, and you're like, oh, that's Jude Law, that yeah. Jude Law, that other guy, Damon, that and he made the gates. Yeah, oh, animated Gates. Oh, that's another. That's my favorite war movie of all time. Oh, mine too. Michelle's. Michelle's. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's. She incredible. actually mentioned it one time. It's incredible. I think we were just we hadn't been dating for that long, and I think she brought it up, and I went, "You're the one." <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is it like? You do the look, eh? And all yeah. of a sudden, there's like hearts around them. You're like, oh my god! <laughs> like little animated birds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You should ask her to marry her. <laughs> what do you do, yeah. Chris? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like, so you want to watch any of the gates? Yeah. And we did. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. No. I probably love that movie. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like, he, I, yeah, so he was a bigger star. Like, I would say, like, he was a bigger star than Giovanni Ribisi. Oh yeah. You know, but mm -hmm. I mean, at the same time, like I was like popping for everyone. I was like, oh, oh, hey, yep. yeah, oh, right. Even bailing, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot all about you. Yeah, what the fuck happened to you, man? This movie, so much fun though. Yeah, the it, design. It's, it's so fun. Well, that and that's Kevin Conrad now. Yeah, the brother. Yeah, like, he designed everything. Oh. You see the art book he just brought out? It just came out. Oh my god. Are you serious? Just came out like literally Holy two weeks two weeks ago. No, no, no! Don't don't do this while we're on the campus. Just I will. I'll take a look later. That's I, incredible. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're gonna show me. I'm, anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. Everyone, go look at the Sky yeah. Captain art book. That's crazy cool. It, well, they gotta do something to recoup the money that they lost for this <laughs> movie. Well, he's 
apparently been working on it for for well since the movie. Good, good for him. Oh man, but like, look at that. Oh, and it's only forty six dollars yeah. and fifty cents. Hardcover, hardcover, no less. Yeah, shit. That's a tough. I'm thinking about getting it. I'm thinking about getting. That's a tough one to say no. You know, I look at it once and put it on a shelf. And, uh, that's the only my only that's, concern. That's the problem. That's my only but, concern. Oh, I really just want to support. But yeah, that, no, dude. like okay, so like just. So right into the gates, we're talking like it's a pretty stacked cast. Yep. Okay. Uh, no weak parts in the cast. Like they're all great. No, I they're mean absolutely yeah, incredible. chemistry is great between everybody. Yeah. Yeah, they're all Actually, shining. The they're all shining. Is incredible mm -hmm. through everyone. Yeah. Like even just like something as simple as uh, like when Sky Captain shows up on Frankie's uh, like. Uh, boat or whatever the fuck they want to call it the i can't remember the term for it but even then like even just the wink and nod to some of the the grunts that are mm -hmm. there you're just like <laughs> and he's a just, swashbuckling hero yeah he really was and like the off-screen chemistry too like when he says to frankie they got dex and she's like well let's go and like even though dex and frankie aren't on screen together at all no but you believe they know that, each before other before that she's like i don't care i don't give a shit yeah like, just yeah, it's whatever. all to you and then he's like well they got dex and then immediately she's, and she's like, like okay like, let's go let's yeah we're going change the plan guys we're going yeah and i was like woo but like the robot designs were awesome yeah but the even like the flapping wing like the manta ray yeah, style bird fish things like, like i was like man I, and i was i was watching those ones because i i love the way that they flew and i was trying to look for like segments so that that's how they but it was just fluid motion i was like man this is so cool mm. like and then the different designs like i said like the robots are very like of that time period robot design yeah and uh because i played cuphead it reminded me of that fucking cuphead boss <laughs> Which partly made me angry because yeah. that's one of the most infuriating bosses for me ever. And he was one of the ones where I was like, fuck, man, I just want to beat you so I can just never play this game for like a solid week. I just want to beat you so I'm done for a while because yeah. fuck, I hate you. But man, like just so that style was perfect. The diesel punk style is perfect. But even that laser, the design yeah, of the laser, the and laser. then like the little yep. circles that it shot off, like so much, like care put into this like this was a passion the world project. building is insane in this oh i mean and this is like an, an original film like usually when you get a film like this it's based on a book or based on a comic or based exactly. on a video exactly like this is original like straight from the mind on the screen using technology that at this time hadn't been used like at they, all they could have went the comic book route yeah they could have they could definitely went that route although personally i, I think they should have they could have at least went with an animated tv show yeah, because like something, this would have slotted in perfect with the uh, like you know Batman the animated series. You know, you got the Justice League. That whole style it could have just been like. I mean, for fuck's sakes, they had what two seasons of Men in Black, the TV show. They had a, at least one season of Godzilla, yep. the TV show. Yep. Which I watched both of them, and I thought they were great. Mm, yeah, no, <laughs> Godzilla animated series were awesome. Hell, hell, there was an entire Ace like uh, Jim Carrey hour was yeah. Ace Ventura and the Mask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. They were putting comic like cartoons on air. Everything had a cartoon, so why not? Why not Sky Captain? Yeah, I wish it would have. It deserves more. I feel like if it would have been released today, I I mean, if it would have been released today, I think it would have been a hit. They should re. What? They should make a sequel. You know, Sky Captain and the Centurions of the Future. Yeah, and uh, uh, eat it up. And eat, totally it up. eat it up. I say uh, next year, twentieth anniversary. I hope Paramount re-releases this in theaters for a week. Oh. Just to it. see what it does. I would do. I if would it, see if it makes that cash. Go find Kerry Conrad. He's probably hiding in the wilderness in the cave somewhere. Exactly. Get, get the Conrad get brothers dude. together. How fucking Netflix? They can do a single season <laughs> easily because <laughs> that's all they do is single seasons. Single seasons. But do this, and it could be Hopefully like CGI. It has an ending and doesn't. Just it could be all canceled. CGI. No, uh, no. you always got to tease another yeah. adventure. Yeah. Swashbuckling heroes, it's they they live to fight. I'm okay game. with teasing, but just like ugh, Netflix likes to just chop and leave yeah, it no, in. no. What I mean, I, what I mean by like, like ended in a way like Daredevil season three, it's yeah. ended. It's ended. You could say that's an ending, yeah. But you know, they live to fight. They're just now we just don't see their adventures, yeah. You know, we don't see them uh, hanging out in the bar, Josie's. That's but they're still doing it, you know, like. Well, like Spider Man uh, three, you know, it yeah. ends with uh, you know Peter Parker yep. and Mary Jane 
trying to well i'm talking about the raimi ones but you know but you know he's still spider-man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but anyway but uh yeah overall i just still still blown away from that by that movie yeah to this day and i'm glad i'm glad that i was still just like oh man like i was giddy i felt like a kid yeah oh man they re-released this in 3d do imagine it. this in 3d oh holy shit yeah Oh come on, Paramount! You gotta do it for the twenty. I know, like you uh, gotta do this for twenty four. Oh man, you gotta like make up for the fact that you also got into a streaming service really oh, late in the game too. Man, I want to get Kevin Conran on our show. That would be great. We That'd should we should invite him on because he actually responded to. I know when, when I posted that little clip I about know. Superman being done by the Conran, oh. and he commented. It would be incredible. Yeah. It was absolutely. Let's see. The, the problem was I hadn't watched it when you had mentioned that. Okay. So it had been so long. Yeah. So yeah. like I was remembering snippets here and there. And, but like I said, within the first minute, like once they introduced the robots, which is fucking quick, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, no, I 100% I see it. Yeah. 100% I see it. Because apparently, like I was reading earlier about this movie and a lot of like, Little homages to to the original Superman anime series in the forties. I was just gonna say, like 50s. the Max Fleischer, that old shows. old one. Yeah, the Max, the Max Fleischer. Fleischer yeah. I was like, oh, totally, totally. Yeah. I can totally see it. Like, because hey, at one point you fought a giant robot. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, all they would have to do is they would have to honestly just modernize the bad guys. Because yeah. I mean, it was during World War Two, so yeah. you had pretty blatant japanese stereotypes yes yes you, know, you did yeah. I, I don't care about the nazis fuck them yeah yeah they're all they don't need to they don't ever need any footing anywhere mm -hmm. but but the japanese you lay off them a little bit yeah. <laughs> it's pretty pretty blatant but yeah, uh, yeah but I, like i said i was like yeah i totally see it now totally see it like even if it was just like you know that hour and 10 hour 20 like dc straight to video thing mm -hmm. where it's not two hours because you can't do that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but yep. like, oh man, it would just be so awesome. Yeah. I mean, shit. They had a, a template in place that would have cost them three million. Right. I mean, I wish they could just somehow get the rights back and just keep it going on their own with no name actors. Or, or like I said, Sky Captain and the Centurions of the Future. Mm -hmm. It could be Space Captain. Uh, and the Centurions of the Future. Space Admiral. No, yeah, that does that does rank know, higher than a captain. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It doesn't flow as well as no, Space Captain though. No, Sea Admiral. Okay, okay, all right. I think mm. I think we're kinda It's like punching baby joke. We're uh, kicking a dead horse. <laughs> I see what you did there. You switched the punching to kicking. But I also made it a dead horse, so it's not as bad. Yeah, it's not as bad. It's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, it just means that when it's still kind of gross. When I go but, to heaven, yeah, that horse will be waiting for me. He's <laughs> kick me when I'm dead, eh? Fuck you up. Kick me when I'm dead, eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talk to God. He said for the uh, next couple yeah. of minutes, yeah. you get to feel what I'm going to do to you. My hoof to your balls. Well, I have no choice and be like over and over and like, over dude, and over. I'm amazed that God exists, so this is incredible. And then I'm in heaven, so this is cool. Yeah, so yeah, go right yeah. ahead. And you're a horse. I deserved it. I didn't know there'd be horses here. I kicked you when you were dead. So mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. okay, enough of that. That's a that's a weird rant. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. So way to go, uh, Kenneth, for making it weird. I, I was just talking about freaking Sea Admiral. You had to go. Sea Admiral is terrible. Go in the fucking Sea Admiral's horrible. <laughs> horrible. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Space Captain was like Chef's kiss or anything. Yeah. It's it's blatantly, yeah. Because I mean, obviously, you you recast Jude Law, <laughs> the whole cast, and you call him Joseph, but you change his last name. Right, right. You know, uh, you recast uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yep, and it's still Polly. Mm -hmm. It's not Polly Perkins. It's Polly Parkins. <laughs> ah, or Polly Parker. There we go. Yeah, Polly Parker. Or, or in this day and age, it's Paul Perkins, and they're gay. Okay, I'm in. I'm, I, yeah. I don't care. And Frankie. She's, also, she's, is, is actually Frankie. She's, she's actually, a dude. Yes, it's Frankie. And uh, also gay. Also gay. So apparently it's a gay porn It's now. a gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? We're in gay porn. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what you want, yeah. then uh, why not? Why can't you have that, Kenneth? Why can't I? <laughs> why can't I? Because uh, Gary Conrad. I guess, like, at the end of the day, like... I, 
I like the easy answer for me is to just say like just to, to watch it because I'm sure you'll like it. Mm-hmm. I but I can't, I mean I personally I think it's going to be for a certain group of people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and and that's where that's where the unfortunate part about this is. It is going to be I I it's going to be for people that grew up with the mummy. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's that same feeling. It's that same like yeah. swashbuckling, high adventure. Yeah. Doesn't take itself too seriously, but also respects what it's doing. Yeah. You know, like there was no like the mummy wasn't winking at the camera going like, hey, yeah. those fucking mummies, eh? Did you... you know, or, yeah. or anything like that. It was just, yeah, it was, he wasn't a gr- grim, serious hero. Right. Right. And right. That, that was also really cool, too. Even in 2004, like for them not to go with the tortured, you know, anti hero type character. Uh, I hope the mummy for happens, eye patch you know? smoking a cigar yeah, and just yeah, like yeah I fucking hate life. But yeah sure. I'll be Sky Captain one more time. You know? <laughs> but I guess in that point you'd have to go out in a blaze of glory. Call Sky Captain. It's like finishes off a shot. Yeah I'll be there. He's got some two women in the bed with him and Yeah. And of course, yeah. because it's that style, he has to like slick his hair back. Yeah. Because it's in his yeah. face, and he's just like, oh, I don't even yeah. care anymore. He does for he's Danny he's Tra- tortured. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. He's just <laughs> tortured. He's just tortured. Machete. Machete. I'm in the wrong movie. <laughs> Actually, that would work probably. That would work. Machete would definitely be Sky like. Sky Captain versus Machete. And just shows up, and he's like, I'm, I'm in the wrong movie, yeah. guys. I'm sorry. You know what surprised me about uh, Danny Trejo, though? Hmm. How short he is. He's tiny. He's not tall by any means. No. Was he like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, or something like that? Like, something like that. Really short. And I didn't know that. I didn't even realize this until this year. Oh, really? Like two mu- uh, less than two months ago. They make ago. him look like this big, huge, tough guy all he the time. He was on MasterChef. Okay. And I remember, I was like, well, you know, they had a Mexican uh, Mexican dish, and he had to test Mexican food. You know? oh, wow. No big deal. That's good. He's a good judge for Mexican food. But... But it was funny because like I was just like, is he sitting down or is because like, uh, like Gordon Ramsay, who I don't think is really that tall in comparison, was dwarfing him, and then I was like, holy shit! So of course I, you know, look on YouTube, yeah, yeah, and yeah, Google, yeah. and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. he's fucking tiny. He's a tiny man. But they shoot, they they John Wayne him. They shot him in such a way that he yeah, got bigger. Of course, there's lifts. There's different ways to shoot things, you know. But I was like, wow, good mm-hmm. job, good mm-hmm. for you, because he looks fucking scary. Yeah, I don't think I could take him. But maybe. <laughs> no. I want the third machete to happen so bad. Machete kills in space. <laughs> so do I. Oh my god. I, I mean you I, can't I, you can't tease in the credits of the second movie, Robert Rodriguez. You can't do it. Well, I mean, obviously you could because they've done it. He's done it. But I really thought we were gonna get it. I thought so too. But even now I'm like, why not? Why don't we do it? Number two is so fun. Oh, Mel Gibson is a bad guy. Oh man, that was such a Awesome Plus, movie. I just I love Danny Trejo. Like yeah. we all talk about, like how Keanu Reeves is like, yeah, this god amongst men, and mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there's what's the other one that's coming up recently? Uh, shit. For what guys that are gods again? Amongst well, men? like just really, really good. Oh, Brent Fraser. Brent Fraser's the oh, yeah, the, yeah, ne- yeah. the new the next one that's coming up. Yeah, where they're like, oh, he's just such a great guy, like just mm-hmm. nice person, blah blah blah. But it's like, what about Danny Trejo? Yeah. So, like I had read an interview where he's just like, uh, like, look, I I don't do my own stunts because I think that's selfish. Because, uh, like, if a stunt guy gets injured, okay, we just he goes to the hospital, he gets fixed up, but we get another stunt guy in. Mm-hmm. But if I get injured, we have to shut down everything. Yeah, everything shuts All down. All these people aren't making money. And now, and now there's the holdup. And I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right, Mister mm-hmm. Trejo. Mm-hmm. You are mm-hmm. correct, Mundo. Yeah. But then at the same, in the same breath, though, I go, that fucking Tom Cruise does his own stunts, man. Like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And it kind of sheds light. So, like, of course, like that period of where uh, where he was, like, fucking screaming at people for not wearing the masks and yeah. respecting COVID protocols and stuff like that. Yeah. And it was just like, like, I, I totally was, I backed him. I was 100%. But now I'm kind of also like, yeah, but dude, you do all your own stunts mm-hmm. and you could die. <laughs> Yeah, he could die. You could die, or you could get injured and yeah. pull up all the like when he broke his ankle, uh, broke his oh, was his shin muscle or shin bone and fucking yeah when he jumped yeah what you... oh I think it was his ankle yeah either way but then 
shooting stopped <laughs> for the six months while you yeah. had it. Uh, say, uh, Daniel Craig, same thing. Shooting stopped because he injured himself. Yeah. And not that I'm saying Daniel Craig is in the same insane mode as like because Tom Cruise is. Fucking There's crazy. only one Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise learned how to do halo jumps just so he could be the guy that does a halo. The only halo jump on T like on a movie. Tom Cruise is playing a movie where he's in space. Literally. Yeah. In space. Tom Cruise is crazy. Cavill didn't do the Halo jump. No. Even though they filmed it to make it look like yeah. he did. Why would he? No. And Tom Cruise really did do that. So yeah. it was him, the camera guy. That was it. That was it. But it's We like, got dude, one shot at this. You know. But anyway, not not to knock. I mean, I, I'm a huge Tom Cruise fan. Mm-hmm, I'm not mm-hmm. a necessarily a huge fan of a person because of his politics. Not politics, his religion. Yeah. But. Uh, but I mean, to each their own. But to each their own. That's right. That's right. Believe what you want. Just if I don't want to believe it, that's that. Don't push it. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. mean, Scientology is pretty quiet now because of that Leah. It Rennie really show. is quiet. Yeah. Oh yeah, she yeah. shut it down good. Well, they're they're in court cases right now. That's yeah. part of the reason. But even Gio, Giovanni Ribisi, mm-hmm. he's quietly a Scientologist. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are quietly Scientologists. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Still weird though. Um, From an outsider's perspective, it's it's Isaac. Uh, who the chefs? Who's yeah, the Isaac Hayes. Chef? Isaac Hayes. He's not quiet. He was, he, but uh, that was the South Park. I was, yeah, I was watching that South Park thing. Like they outed him hard. Isaac how, <laughs> Hayes left the show. How come? Well, we did a Scientology episode. <laughs> and then and then they shit all over him. Yeah, they used his previous on his entire dialogue. They yeah. pasted for it. But anyway, but even like uh, Jenna Elfman is another one. She was yeah. she was quietly. Uh, uh, was it there was a uh, something Bell from Jag? That woman. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember her. Yeah. The short brown hair. Yeah. I forget what her name was. Some. You're right though. Her last name's Bell. Scientologist. The one. Some of the ones that surprised me. Jason Lee. Oh yeah. Well, that's all he does now is skateboard and be a Scientologist. Oh. But hey, if it gets you what you want, then sure makes you happy. That's the thing. If it makes you happy, fine. Yeah, it's good for you. Not every skateboarding. There's not one religion. Skateboarding and Colton. That's where it's at. There's not. Hold on. There's not one religion that doesn't have blood on their hands. That's true. So, mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. want to shit on Scientology, you got to shit on all of them. And that's what I do. I shit on all of them equally. Yeah, equally. You're good like that. Everyone gets a little equal shit. Equal little, opportunity little equal shit. Of shit. That's right. Across That's the right. board. That's right. Getting back to Sky Captain. So I don't like know I how said, we got there, but yeah, Captain. Uh, man, just watch the movie. It's just so much fun. It's just a fun movie. It's ah oh, man, and yeah. While I can, we can lament the fact that uh, it didn't get as big as it should have been. Yep. Uh, and and you know, not everything has to be franchised. But a sequel would have been nice. Yeah, exactly. And even if not a sequel, then it, it's like Violent Night all over again. I want more. Yeah. Give it to me in any any way I can absorb that content. Although for that one, the style... I think, like Sky Captain could have been a game. It's crazy been. that no one picked it up as a video game. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, you had... Uh, you had this... Probably been awful, but... Well, judging of that time period, it was a movie. Movie, yeah, game, it would have been awful. It would have been garbage. Garbage, because you would have had like tank controls for yep. when you fought in the Sky Captain plane, mm-hmm. but then also you would have had garbage controls for when you were out of the plane and you yep. were fighting bad guys. And the laser mechanics would it would have just been horrible. Mm. Ugh. But at the same time, I I agree. Like for me personally, I I want more. I would have liked to have had at least another se- like a sequel. I think. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily think that it would probably would have done three movies, but a sequel for sure. Like it's like with the way they did this budget. Like again, yeah, like I'm I'm with the Conrads where I'm like, show us the budget. Show us how yeah. it went to seventy million. Because we were talking about that, and like I remember two thousand four. None of it makes any sense. There was trailers, but they weren't pushing this. It wasn't fifty million advertising. Well, like I said, they weren't kicking in our TVs, going, so, "You gotta watch this movie." There was a couple of trailers. Like I think there was two trailers. Yeah. Okay, and it's not like like now where you see trailers like every two seconds mm-hmm. on YouTube and on mm-hmm. TV and any sort of platform pretty much has trailers. You know, obviously, like, like even when we talked about with the Jurassic Park, I think there was one trailer. Yeah. And I get now that yeah, I don't remember any other trailer besides the teaser. 
And I and that's just it. I don't because I remember uh, the fucking full page ad or something like that, like in the newspaper. Yeah. It was like Boom. Jurassic Park, the big logo, sixty five million years in the making, and you're just like, what the fuck? And then there was the teaser where you saw little snippets of dragon and one shot of the T Rex, the yep. eye. You saw the eyeball. Yeah. And you saw like the thuds, and that was it. That was the trailer, and we were just like. Ugh. That's all I need. Yeah, I don't need to know the whole movie. No. But in all honesty, watch the movie. Like if if you like the money, if you thought the money franchise was yeah. great, even even if you like the Jet Li one, which I do, but that's only because I like Jet Li. That is the weakest. I would I would have liked it a lot more if Richard Wise returned. I agree. They had no chemistry. Mar Mar Maria Bello and yeah, oh, no oh, chemistry. Yeah. Well, that it was the same character. Yeah. Re like make her a different character. They even had John Hannah back as as the brother. It was like oh, make her a different character. Everything is so weird. No. Because then 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 I'm fine. Yeah. You know, because then you could say, well, the chemistry, the lack of chemistry is the fact that they're two yeah. different, like they're not the same. But anyway, and also, no offense to Maria Bello, no offense at all. But no, this is going to come I off like really Bello. offensive. I like her. I think she's a good actress. No, no offense, offense intended, but... but she's not Rachel Vice. You know, and uh, we we mentioned en Enemy at the Gates. Imagine Maria Bello. It's it was weird <laughs> casting. Rachel Weisz's character. It was in Enemy weird the casting Gates. because Rachel Weisz, like she has this innocence, like this charm to her. There's right? a presence to and her. And Maria Bello, before that, was playing like hard ass chicks in all her movies. Like, remember her yeah. payback? Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh I love payback. That's oh, I love payback too. Movies. I love payback too. But I mean, period. Like, but yeah. yes, yeah, you're right. So it was really weird she that they cast her as the replacement. Chicks. Yeah, I, I yeah didn't get that at all. And again, the just the simple fact that they didn't just change the character. Yeah, you know, like yeah. it still would have sucked that they changed the character because you hate when they have off-screen dissolutions of relationships. Right? Or if she died between two and three and it's just about him and his son. Yeah. I mean, that still would suck, but her, it'd be a lot better than... Her, her brother's there, you know? It'd be a lot, yeah, exactly. It'd be, but again, it'd be a lot better than saying, yeah, it's the same person. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I hope four happens with this uh, Brendan Absolutely. Fraser... The resurgence. The resurgence. I hope so, too. And he straight up said, hey, call me. I'll do a fourth. He fucking he had he loved those movies. Yep. He never he doesn't say a bad thing about those movies. Nope. Even I think he's even spoken highly of the CGI for the Scorpion King, mm. which is odd because that's garbage. That <laughs> that is so shitacular. It becomes a Scorpion King. Whoa. It's so bad, man. It's so bad. That franchise even spawned a Scorpion King franchise. Yes. A full franchise. And The Rocks... There's more Scorpion King movies than Mummy movies. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> yeah, that's right, actually. Yeah, there's yeah. like four I've only them. watched... I think I watched two? What's the... Batista's in one of them, isn't he? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. No, no, no. no, no. no, no, no. I only watched the one with The Rock. Uh, that's the first one. Yeah, I only yeah. watched that one. That was fun. That was a good one. That Mike, was one Michael those... Clark Duncan was with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of those yeah. ones where I was like... See, you could have used The Rock to be Conan. You could have. It would have been great. But then Momoa's Conan was... The movie wasn't great, but his was, Conan oh, was Oh, his Conan was awesome. His Conan was awesome. He looked like, the part. Yeah. He was smart, yeah. like Conan is. Yeah. But he's also a barbarian. Mm -hmm. uh, was it Atherton? Gem Gemma Atherton was in that too? No. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, Rose McGowan. That's right. And Stephen Lang was the villain. And the but the the main girl. But the main girl was. She was Scarlet from GI Joe. Oh right, right. What the hell's her name? Again? I can't remember her name. She was. I thought she was going to be bigger, and then she just kind of disappeared. Yeah, she's kind of been everything there for a bit, but then they all bombed. That probably didn't help. But it's weird to blame that on her because, like, The Rock was also in uh, GI Joe too. He was. <laughs> so it's he was. So it's like, I yeah. mean, you had it on those shoulders and Bruce it still Wilson didn't do well. Too. He played Joe, as in the G.I. Joe. No, I thought he was Roadblock. Oh, he was. Because Dennis Quaid yeah, was Yeah, but Bruce Joe. Willis was Oh, Bruce too. Willis, that's right. Bruce that's Willis played Joe. That's right. He played the Joe. That's the right. Joe. That's right. That's right. Yeah, everything is named after Bruce Willis. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Sky Captain, the, the World Tomorrow. Watch it. Support it. Next year's 20 years. 
get on it now. Let's let's try to get Paramount to re-release it. And if you're into like really cool art deco, like that's kind of the thing. Like if you're into art deco, yeah. Uh, if you were a fan of uh, Batman the animated series, uh, if you were a fan of the Fleischer cartoons, this is what I'm saying. Like yeah, those old serials. It's yeah. it's a thing where I feel like you have to be either into a certain period, mm -hmm. uh, or if you're a huge Diesel Punk fan, don't forget that. Then check this out. Uh, and let us know what you think because we love this movie. Enjoyed it immensely. Yeah. Uh, Conruns, they got robbed. They got fucking oh, robbed yeah. on this shit. The fact that they weren't given anything or offered anything after this. Explain. And maybe that's on them too. Maybe they had such a shitty experience making this that they were like, fuck that. We don't want to make well, it anymore. Well, probably that's what it was. That's probably a lot probably of what it was. Probably what it was. Um, but yeah, but, damn it, man. That's just like, yeah. they're so talented and see it to go waste sucks. Yeah. 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 But that's life. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you just break into music. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you do. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that because, like, uh, we rewatched season one and two of Ted Lasso. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, of course, we got to the feudal part mm -hmm. where <laughs> they start singing <laughs> Rick Astley. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it because I love it because the way it starts, which is, I just want to tell you how I feel. Yeah. Try to make you understand. And you're like, is she going to fucking sing that song? And then she starts singing it. And of course, like, I'm like, I'm like happy tears going, like, this is great. And then they, start, they all start singing it. And I'm like, oh, this is great. But uh, Ted Lasso, though. Ted Lasso, I haven't watched any of it yet. Oh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but. Because I can't do the weekly thing. I can't do it. I just, you know what? I, I it's kind of nice. I want to binge it. It's kind of, you know what? I saw uh, a thing, uh, a meme, where it was just like, oh, man, I can't wait to watch season three of a, sh of a show that I watched season two four years ago in one weekend. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's how it is now. Where you, mm -hmm. like, I have to rewatch just to get caught up to watch. Yeah. So it's kind of nice that the, watching it on a weekly basis it takes you back. Takes you back? Takes you back. At least there's no commercials. Uh, Apple TV actually know that they have commercials at the beginning. Yeah, ads for their own TV shows, which is fine. That's fine because you can skip them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, no commercials, no nothing. That's yeah. good. That's good. Overall, That's so ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for a monumental live campcast. Uh, I apologize that the wrestling went long, but it was bound to happen because it's WrestleMania season. It's WrestleMania. So, yeah, so thanks for sticking around for that. Thanks for sticking around, period. Like, every time you guys show up, it's awesome. Uh, thanks for watching us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Thanks for seeing uh, or hearing us on Apple and Google Podcast and on SoundCloud and on Spotify and on Audible. I mean, we are seriously. getting around. We're everywhere. We're even on uh, the internet. I don't know if you've yes. heard of the internet, but we actually have a web page. Uh, called geekpantsmedia.com. It's original, right? Um, we also have Geek Shorts. Geek Shorts are flooding it. Kenneth is doing his fair share. I keep saying I'm going to get them done, and then I don't. I, I fall but I will. behind. I fall behind, but I will get back on the shorts. You and I both, because, yeah, they're fun. To, they're actually fun to do. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, they are fun. I mean, especially when, when, when I'm just filming stuff clips? that I own. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, check out this thing. I have this. I'm a dork. Here, check this out. <laughs> and people go, "Hey, you are a dork." Guess what? I'm a dork too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, woo. Well, yeah, no, our subscriber base has gone up big time since we started doing shorts. I want to say exponentially. Would I be wrong in saying that? No, you wouldn't. So, yeah, you're Sweet. correct. Sweet. You are correct. But. I did the uh, I did the uh, the outro. So thanks again for there it everything. Is. I personally love all of you, Kenneth. Do you love all of them? I love ninety nine percent of them. I'm the one percent, isn't it? No, you just oh. you know there's that one guy out there. There's, there's, <laughs> there's that one guy. That one guy. That one dude. That one guy. It's like I don't love you. I appreciate you, but I just can't love you. There's just things about you. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so just look in your eyes. That's, uh, yeah, you're right. There's always is that, that one guy. That one, that one that guy. One person. I'd be lying. I'd be lying if I say I love you all. I'm sorry. That's true. I'm That's sorry. True. As of right now, I'm saying I love you all, but that might turn out to be a liar. Yeah. But then again, I, I am. You the, haven't met the one guy. I am the epitome of hyper, hyperbole. Hyperbole. I hyperbole. can't even say it wrong. I hyperbole. Have to, like, concentrate to say it incorrectly. <laughs> anyway, get the fuck out of here. You have guys are a wonderful evening. Just leave.
we're, yeah. we're done with you. Are we done? We're d- I'm already Where are you up. going? Getting up. Hey, guys, I got, I got. These pancakes are delicious.